Hello there, guys, gals, non-binary pals. How y'all doing on this nice, chill, relaxing Monday morning, afternoon, evening, nighttime? No matter what time of day it is, I hope y'all are having a nice, chill one at that. Me myself, pretty chill day. To be honest, had a very chill day yesterday. Very chill day this morning. I made sure to like rest up my throat and everything, so it is feeling a lot better today. Obviously, you know, I'm gonna have to see as things go on because with streaming, I talk a lot more when I'm streaming than I do when, you know, I'm not streaming. So hopefully it'll be okay throughout the day. I got plenty of liquids, making sure I'm staying hydrated, making sure my throat is being kept good. Maybe no funny accents just for a little bit, you know, like funny voices, just to be safe. But for other than that, nice chill day. So I did have a few plans for today, but they may be, uh, <laughs> something literally just came up before stream. Uh, I, I, I got a call from our boy, Timothy, and there's a bit of a situation, apparently. So, like I said, literally maybe like five minutes before stream, I got a call from Timothy. He got robbed, and he got robbed of everything, including the house key. Like, he, they took all of his weapons, they took his ID, they took his house key, they took everything. I'm currently waiting for... He, he had to do a report to the police, so now he's just kind of waiting for... Yeah, you know, he's going to call us back after that. So I'm just kind of waiting on that. But yeah, apparently our boy got robbed and they took everything. I mean, luckily the way the house system works is that if someone tries to open up the door without being on like the door system, I'm fairly certain that it activates the alarm. Like if someone tries to open up the door with a key, but then they're not also on the security system, then that should alert us and also alert the police. I, I want to hold off from changing the keys because... The, the issue with changing the keys is that it's going to cost us $40,000. Like, to replace all the keys that we've given out, to replace the lock, it's going to cost us $40,000 total. So, ideally, I want to, like, see if we can get this resolved beforehand. Like, before we go to that extreme. I mean, it's not like much can get robbed anyway. Like... Say if we do, hold on, let, let me head into the game. It's so like, say if we do get robbed, what we're going to be losing primarily is the GPU that Kitty has in here, which is $7,000, which is, you, you know, you kind of got to balance the cost in that sense, you know? Like, we lose all this stuff that's currently littering the ground as well, but who cares about that? But we lose the one GPU, which is $7,000. We don't lose anything on here, we found out, because apparently you can't actually rob these without the, like, the, um the access on the system so telly would only lose that so cost wise it makes no real sense to change the keys because we're not going to be losing too much if we had like racks upon racks then maybe but there's no point spending forty thousand dollars to save seven thousand dollars and if i'm correct then we should get alerted if anyone does try and like come in here with the key and you know without being on the system. And not to mention the fact that Pete, they, whoever robbed him probably doesn't know that he lives here. Because if you look at the keys, there's no like signifier saying like, hey, they live here. Does the bench have stuff in it? Pretty sure it doesn't though. All that's in there right now is a blueprint that I purchased yesterday, which is for a grind box, which is like another $4,000. So it isn't too, too bad. Who got robbed? Timothy got robbed. He got robbed by in senior buns, apparently. Hopefully, they were able to catch whoever did it and get his stuff back. Because, like I said, they robbed everything. His weapons, his ID, everything. That's a new Timmy in where he lives. I don't think many people know that. I imagine the people that know that are people that are close to Timothy. And I highly doubt that they would rob him. It, we really don't have much that's going to get robbed here. It, it really just isn't worth it. No, he kept his phone. They left him his phone for some reason. They took everything but his phone. As you can see, all that we have blueprint-wise is this grind box right now, which I purchased yesterday. This is one of the things I want to test today. I, I want to see how this box works and what we could use it for. We just need to get some boxed fur and refined rubber, which may mean that we have to go do some hunting. But, you know, that's fine. It's, it's for a reason. There's purpose behind it. I'm sure we can get refined rubber from somewhere, too. I'm sure someone will be able to sell us that rubber if we need it. But yeah, so we have to kind of see how things go. Sim cards is the most known thing to get robbed of. Yeah, exactly. Like I, 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 if I get robbed, I hope everything on me but that gets robbed. Because trying to recover all those phone numbers would be so painful. 
Not to mention the fact that we've got phone numbers of people that we probably would never see again. But it's nice having their phone numbers to remember them, you know? You know, people like Pookie, people like uh, Genitals, people like Baloo, if he ever does come around again. It's nice having their numbers, even if they never show up again. It's just nice to remember them, you know? Max has, like, loads of people in his SIM card at this point. Between the taxi work and just the people that he's got to know in general. Part of me wants to just kind of sit down one day and copy over all my numbers onto a spare SIM card just in case. Like, you know, basically just go through my phone and copy every single number that's on here. It would definitely take a good long while, though, is the issue. Yeah, I wish there was an easier way to do it. I mean, the thing is, that could also be a business service someone could start up. Like, you know, backing up SIM cards. That theoretically could be a pretty good business. Not to mention the fact that you'd be able to use it to get numbers yourself, too. Like, you'd have a huge collection of numbers at that point. They took 1k off me, that's so ass. Damn. Damn, they really took everything from him. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going to happen with that, though. So, I don't think... Personally, I just don't think it's worth changing the keys right now. We're not going to lose much if we do get robbed. But that does bring me on to what I actually wanted to focus on today. What I want to focus on is organizing the house. Like, obviously, we do have the casino stuff we need to do as well, but we're kind of waiting to hear when we're going to be doing the next test day for that. But what we really need in this house right now is organization. Because we have a lot of people in this house that do crime, right? Like, you know, uh, you know, like, April goes robs the AC unit, some people go chop cars, stuff like that. What I mean by organization isn't, like, decoration or, like, inventory organization. I mean making it so people that are doing crime are making money. And by that, I mean making a system where we have, like, each person in the house has a specific job in the money cleaning process. Like, say, for me, I go down to the sewers. Like, I take everything that they've robbed into the sewers, and I get it converted into jewelry. I then give that to someone else in the house and then goes do the jewelry run. Then we get someone... Then they give it back to me, and I clean the money, whether it be through, like, laundry machines, VU, whatever. Then I give the cleaned wash money to someone else to go do a job as well. It's basically like just organization and we've got a lot of people in the house that do crime so they'd be more than willing to like do something if we give them the job you know we just need to give them that job to go do whether it be running the jewelry or running the wash cash because those are the two things of the money cleaning process that i can't do at the moment but a big part of getting that whole system set up is getting data i need to know how much like each car part is worth jewelry wise how much each ac unit is worth jewelry wise because i could make a really solid spreadsheet with that information and then i can like calculate how much i'm going to owe people as well but i'll know like how much money we're going to be making per piece and then i want to make sure that everyone that's involved in the process gets paid fairly with me probably taking the least amount of cut because i don't care so much about the money i care about my friends being able to make money from it too because the thing is, the issue that we're having in the house right now is that we keep getting things piled up into the house. Like, you know, we get, like, money bags. We get, like, you know, car parts, stuff like that. The issue is, is that no one does anything with them. Then they just become trash bags. Like, see, we've got so many trash bags here that is just stuff that people didn't use. And we've got, like, a box of jewelry here that Timothy got, like, almost a week ago that nothing's been done with. We've got all this Group 6 cash. We need organization to sort this out. I don't know what these stolen goods are. I need to ask Timothy about that, if we can sell those or not. Well, let me move this to the storage over here. A big part of this as well is going to be getting storage too. Like, we'll need to get storage like, you know, big storage that we can put stuff in. So that we can better organize as well. The less stuff on the ground, the better. Because one, it's harder for someone to like just run in and see it. Like, if someone runs in here right now, they'll see we've got stolen jewelry. We've got like cash pallets actually is this illegal no this isn't illegal that's good to know but yeah so what i want to do is try and start up an operation here with the uh, the goods that come into the house because I, I i know like the like, april ray uh, eli they love doing crime they love doing the robbing part it's the rest of it i don't think they're really too interested in like getting their money from doing the robbery i don't think they're too interested in that like doing the whole process so I want to try and just make a good system for it. And then basically I just tell them like, hey, if you're free, go do this crime for me. 
and you'll get paid for it. Like, I can just give out little jobs for them to do, like, you know, cleaning the jewelry, cleaning the money, stuff like that. That's the idea. And if this goes well, who knows? Maybe we can even expand it to beyond just the house. At the moment, it's just a way for us to start making money in the house. Because I know April's been doing a lot of roof running lately and she's been really enjoying it. But I don't know if she's, I don't know if she's ever been paid for it. As in, like, you know, she brings the AC units in here if she actually goes through the process of getting those AC units turned into money. I don't know if she does that or not. But yeah, so that's my goal. I want to try and organize that. And the reason I got the grind boxes is to test something that I want to see. Because if the grind boxes work similarly to how they used to work in 3.0, it will allow us to carry more down into the sewers when we make the trips. Alternatively, what it might do, if it doesn't do that, it'll make it so when we're carrying stuff into the sewers, it doesn't look like we're carrying like HV, you know, air conditioner units or car parts. We'll just be holding a box. But yeah, that's my idea. I, I, I want to see if we can get like a good proper system going with this. I always had like an idea as well that if this does go well, we theoretically could turn this into a big business for us to run. Like what if we open up our own pawn shop? Like we take one of the properties that's down in the south side. Like, you know, um, maybe one that's more tucked away. Like I was thinking what would be an ideal location is, let me see, let's sort by price. What would be an ideal location for that would be this little property that's by the VU. It's not on the road. It's like in, it's like in that little indent where the VU is. So people could easily park up there without people being seen and like transfer stuff into there. Let me see if I can find it. It's not these ones. It's this one here. This one that's very much tucked away to the side. I think that could make a really interesting pawn shop. Because the issue with doing one that's more obvious, like, you know, one of these ones that's on the road, is that PD could pull up and see someone transferring, like, car parts and air conditioning units into the house. Here, it's a lot more tucked away. Not invincible, but more tucked away. I see it's just kind of uh, there by the VU. Not to mention the fact that it's by the VU, so it's very easy to clean the money. But literally, we just have to walk over to the VU and put the stuff in there. So that'd be really good for a money-cleaning business. But that's what I've been thinking about over the over the last two days. I want to see if this is theoretically something we can do. Because now that the Liquid Library, I've, uh, I've basically given up on the Liquid Library now. I'm free to open up a different business. And that theoretically could be a good business for us to run. I just got to do a test run in the house and see if we can get a good system going. Because on that same note, I want to see if I can help Yuno out as well. Because Yuno contacted us the other day about the fixer thing that he's doing. It seems like a pretty cool idea, and I want to see what I can do to help him out with that. Whether it's like offering this like system or organization to him, or just helping out in any way that I can. He was asking us if we knew anyone that'd be good for it. But I think most of the people that I know are good for it would be people that uh he's already got on there. Hold on. Do you need a pick? Pick up. Let's see. How's Max's bank account looking? At the moment, I'm at 55,000. But I am going to be doing a packer run with Timothy after Storm. I've been doing a lot of packer runs with Timothy lately. My bank account would be higher, but I spent some money on repairing the packer and also, uh, you know, buying the grind box blueprint, which kind of added up too. We did have a scuff run yesterday too, which didn't help out with that. But I am making my money back. Slowly but surely, I am making my money back. I also haven't collected my paycheck for like three weeks now. So that's something that we could easily, like, redeem if we need to. That's like a, a rainy day fund for me right now. But yeah, we'll see. I mean, if Yuno needs money to help out with that as well, I'll, one thing I want to think about is maybe giving him the money and just kind of not caring about a car to begin with. Because to be honest with you, I don't need a car on Max right now. I've got the Glendale, and that gets me from A to B. The cars aren't going anywhere. I'd, I'd much rather spend the money investing in something for more things in the future than just buy myself a car, which will still be there like six months from now. Hacker Run still's average 5K. Yeah, they average roughly about $5,000. It's pretty good, to be honest. Like in terms of money, I'd say it's probably the best thing for money right now.
has looking sick. Well, I can't take credit for the house design. The house design was done by Natalia Omar. She did a really good job with it. I just bought the furniture for it. I I've been the one filling everything out. That's been my purpose, my goal. What do you think Max's morality is? You mean like where he fits in like a D&D &D chart or something? I don't know where he, I I'd say maybe something neutral is what Max would be. But obviously he sticks to like not doing crime too much. Like, you know, not robbing people, not like shooting people. But he's willing to do that sort of stuff if it comes down to it. Like for Max, he wouldn't go out there robbing banks and, and stuff like that. He'd more so do things behind the scenes like this. Like, you know, organizing criminals rather than doing the criminal activities himself. Because sometimes that's all people need is like someone to tell them like, go do this job, go do that job. I think Max would be pretty good at that. Like just organizing criminal deeds. Being a mafia boss, but not really. Actually, me and Timothy were talking yesterday about how there's like no mafias in the city and how cool it would be if there was a mafia. I just don't know if mafias really work in GTA. There's like a reason why a lot of people go more so towards gangs and stuff like that. Let's just go get the Glendale. We've got like 30 minutes for storm. We'll go get the Glendale and do a little bit of driving around. Oh, morning, sir. I'm guessing someone's doing some drug dealing nearby. Do over that way, over that way. We you remove the whistles from the blowing cells. The sound thing that I was using, unfortunately, doesn't really work too well anymore. I need to think if I want to bring it back or not. I've just got to, like, mess around with the website. I might bring it back, but maybe increase the price a little bit. Because sometimes they were getting spammed a little bit at, like, bad situations. Like, to the point where I, I was worried that people weren't able to hear stuff in-game. So I might work on it on increasing it and see if that changes it. Let's see. Get them to cross. Time's supposed to be mafia. But I guess the difficult thing with a mafia is what is a mafia? What differentiates a mafia from, say, like, just a regular gang? It's kind of difficult to do that in GTA, I think. Hey, Jono BC, thanks for the two months. Much appreciated. Hope you enjoy those beautiful Goblin and Maximus, Jono. Appreciate the support. Also, I want to see... This guy does stuff, right? Normal run, need 200... Hot run, need 1,500. This is to do with the jewelry, right? Interesting. Okay, open shop. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Wait, so this guy sells the same things that the electronic store sells? Sells radios, mobile phones, tablets, PCs, PC parts. Huh. Okay, fair enough. Basically, just the same as the electronic store. I'll need to do some testing with that. I'll, I'll need someone to help me do some testing to get, like, proper numbers. I need data. With data, I can make a sick spreadsheet for this. A classic gang just call it a mafia? Well, the thing is, you can call yourself a mafia, but it doesn't mean you're a mafia. I feel like mafia is, like, a very specific sort of criminal organization. Though when I think mafia, I think, like, protection rackets, you know, more business-orientated gang more so than anything else, you know? In my mind, that's what a mafia is. Now, there used to be a gang in town called the Royal Mafia, but they weren't really a mafia. They just more so called themselves a mafia. Now, they used to twat out things like to the throne when they were having gang meetings, which doesn't seem very mafia to me. You need class. You need subtlety when it comes to that. I know. I, I think it's just a very difficult thing to do. Same with like doing cartels, doing Yakuza's. GTA itself just lends itself better to doing gangs more so than anything else. And a lot of the time people just kind of get put into the gang grouping anyway, no matter how their group is. People will still refer to them as a gang. But there is certain things that just wouldn't work. Like, protection rackets wouldn't really work in RP because a lot of people are fine just to protect themselves. Unless you, like, give them a reason to be protected by. Like, you're the one robbing them and you'll stop robbing them if they pay the protection fee. That's the only way, theoretically, it would work. Let's so hold on a minute. Let me just sort out my graphics. 
Boom. There we go. I would say if I, if I ever wanted to do a gang, oh, do a gang or anything like that in RP, I probably would want to do something more mafia-like than just a gang. Something a bit more classy. Not sure if that'll ever happen, but you know, maybe who knows what'll happen down the line. Who knows what things may lead into other things. Nice to seem not gang-like. Well, the company, I, I don't even know what you define the company as. Because they definitely do crime. I, I know they do crime and stuff like that. But you are right. They're not like a traditional gang by any sorts. Let's see anything new in here. Even though I'm not really going to buy a car right now, it's still fun to look, see what's in stock. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be anything too interesting. Max is not a big man. His goons, not so much. Yes, Max's goons. That's what the gang will be called. The tiny group of criminal business stuff could eventually span to mafia, potentially. Yeah, I think when it comes to mafia, it's it's a lot about the organization with it. I think it seems to be like very dependent on how organized they are. So I guess we'll see where things go. If any, like, mafias do kind of appear. I guess when it comes down to it, you don't really want people knowing that you're in a mafia, right? You definitely want to be more low-key than, like, going around saying, like, I'm part of the, you know, crime mafia. I'm going to spray up this building saying I'm part of the crime mafia. That's not really what they do. They're, they're supposed to be a lot more subtle. They don't really have sprays and stuff like that with their gang, with like their mafia logo on it or anything. Has the Mercedes drive? Ah, uh, I, I think I've tried that one before. I didn't really like it too much. I will say if we are going to give our money to someone else and invest in something else, I probably would look to maybe change Tanya to a different color. I mean, thinking about maybe changing Tanya to more of like a grayish sort of color instead. A bit more business-like. Potentially. As iconic as the yellow is. It depends on whether or not we're going to be using Tanya a lot or not in the future. I have saved the hex code of the yellow though. I will say that. So I could easily swap back if needs be. I have saved the hex code ready. Let's see. Uh, let's head to the buns. We've got about 20 minutes left before storm. Let's go to the buns. Not another gray car. It's just a color that works for Max. I don't see that many gray Glendales as the thing. I see mainly like um, black Glendales more than anything else. Oh, it's been well over a month since Max's last taxi drive. I gave up taxi work a good bit ago. Mainly just because there wasn't really much for taxis anymore. I think I gave up at the last restock before the month-long restock drought. Now that restock that happened like six weeks ago, that's when I stopped. Because that's when like all the Glendales and stuff got restocked. Which at that point I thought like, okay, taxi's basically dead at this point. In my opinion, what killed taxis the most is the work vehicles. The fact that people can just go to Weasel News and basically just get a free car is a bit sucky. I don't like that. That you always see those Weasel News vans driving around. I highly doubt many of them are really doing anything news related. It's the same with like the Bisons that you get up north. People used to just drive those around town too. That sort of stuff is kind of what killed the taxi market. Yeah, there is another yellow Glendale around now. But they have, like, very, very big wheels. Goblin green Glendale. I don't think the Glendale would look too good in green. Royal blue might look kind of sick, though. Blue is one of Max's favorite colors. Then again, an olive green might look kind of sick. 
I know Ray would like that. Raymond. She seems to be a big fan of olive green. Tempting, very tempting. I mean, we could always just test and see what we can change it to. I just think now that we're shifting our focus away from taxi work and going more in business mode, we need to bring Tanya along with us. We need to bring Tanya into the business with us. And also, you know, it helps us not get mistaken for like Avagos, you know? <laughs> I've been mistaken a few times. Nah, and if you get the sprites or whatever from there, they're flat as hell. How many people are working here? Oh god, is it just this guy? Oh yeah, it's like just fucking syrup, bro. Just that straight sugar for your head. Yeah, it looks like if I want to get diabetes, that should be my choice. That should be a hook you up to a sprite IV. We I just wait. Got like Holocaust survivors and hooked them up with. Worst come to worst, I'll just go to the uh. Sprite twenty four hours later. To the uh, what's it called? Again. So you took some Holocaust survivors fresh out of the camp and got them that modern day McDonald's fuck? Sprite, large soda, plug them up to that, ready to go within 24 hours. Well, I heard you the first time. I was taking saying, fucking what? hit, taking Hitler down, bud. What? Yeah, you give them the, you give them some of that fucking McDonald's Sprite, bud. They'd have taken old old Third Reich. They'd have hammered. Yeah, I'm head. just gonna head out. <laughs> just grab his number just in case. I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be even here anymore. Yeah, likewise. Let's just go get ourselves some vending machine food. It's going to be easier. I always regret coming to the buns every time I come. I did think that maybe be some more workers this time of night, though. Yeah, Buns is just kind of dead. I really hope they kind of expand the food market soon. Though we definitely do need a lot more food variation in the city. Like sushi, ramen, stuff like that would be really nice. The storm time changed with daylight savings? Not yet, no. I'm surprised the storm time hasn't changed yet. I'm curious to see if it changes when the UK time change happens, which is roughly about two weeks from now, I think. But we're still living in the past right now in the UK. Our clocks go uh, change on the 31st, I think. I think that's when it changes. I imagine maybe then it'll change because then everyone's going to be thrown through the loop. At the moment, the, the storm change only throws, like, Americans through the loop. I think. I, I don't know whose clocks have changed yet, just yet. It is just America, right? Or primarily America. And Canada, yeah. They're the only ones that are, like, thrown off now that the time has changed. I'll let me grab some food here. Part of the problem with the buns, people work there to get their own food. See, that's why, that's why I think whitelists are a good thing, because then people can't do that. You actually have to get hired onto a business to do something like that. Get some of that. Get some of that. Boom. Easy peasy. Yeah, I imagine it'll change soon. Because Storm should be in 15 minutes from now, theoretically. So I'm going to quickly go check at that uh, location by the VU and see what it looks like. I'm very curious what the inside of that area would look like. It seems to be a little bit pricey. Like, it's what, like 400000 something like that? So it's definitely out of our price range right now. But who knows how things may go in the future. If I had a genuine goal in mind, I, you know, 
I could get down to, you know, grind if needs be. If I had an actual goal in mind for it. I think it's here, right? Yeah, here. Timothy sends asleep. Ah, okay, that's all good. No worries, we'll do some runs later. There we go. Yeah, hopefully that, uh... Hopefully that key situation does get solved. Is this locked? Yeah, this is locked. I'm, I'm curious how the size of this is. Like, is this just, like, here? Or does it expand further? Like, does it go backwards? Or does it go around this way, too? Because price-wise, it's relatively cheap. Like, I don't imagine it's going to be that, that, like, that huge, really. Hey, Stakes! Thanks for the six months! Much appreciated. Hope you enjoy those beautiful Goblin and Max Motes, as always, Snakes. Appreciate the support. Was Tail down the Timothy situation? He, he got robbed. He got robbed and they took everything, including his house key. No. But we'll get it sorted. Like I said, I don't think it's worth changing the locks just because of the fact that it's going to cost us like $40,000 to do that compared to the $7,000 that we'd lose if someone does come in the house. I don't think we should change the, the locks personally. I don't really know what the status of the house robbery stuff is, to be honest. I remember at some point you couldn't like take people's keys. I don't really know if that's still the case or not. If it isn't, we'll get it sorted. Otherwise, just got to keep an eye on the house and see if we get any alarms. Because theoretically, if someone was to, like, you know, enter our house with a key without being on the system, it will alert us and it will alert the police. I'm pretty sure. I'm fairly certain that's how that system works. Yeah, I can call a realtor to check inside here, but we'll, we'll do that later. How is he robbed? He was held up at Senior Buns. That's what he told us. I'll have a quick check of some of the other properties around here too. That would be the most convenient, but there is some other properties around as well. I do, the thing is, if we are going to start a pawn shop, we don't need anything with like huge, huge space. So we don't need to go for something like this here. This is still available, right? Yeah, this is. This is. I know that the, uh, I, I believe the guild has purchased this property over here now, by the way, because it's no longer on the market. And Timothy did say that they bought it recently. Like, this one used to be one that is on sale. It's one of the ones that I was considering for the casino because of the fact that, like, on the outside, it kind of looks pretty casino-y. Relatively casino-y. Yeah, it looks huge. Like, if it's what I think it is, then it probably spans from here all the way back there. If it's the size that I think it is. It's pretty solid, to be honest. They, they definitely chose a good location for what they're planning. Because what the guild want to do is start the farmer's market again. Can the outside facade be changed, though? Not at the moment, no. But who knows if in the future. Like, devs might be able to do some work here and there. Like they used to. We'll kind of have to wait and see. I look forward to see what they do with it, though. I imagine it wasn't a very cheap thing to buy. Ooh, what about these ones here? How much are these? Let's see. Let's see. We've got about 10 minutes before storm, so we may as well do a little bit of exploring. This one is... Oof, okay, that's a bit expensive. Is it unlocked? Damn, it's still locked. Sometimes the realtors forget to lock it up again, so I'm just checking to see if they have forgotten. Then you got this one here. This one is also extremely pricey, but probably a decent size to it. Damn it. They also, there's no realtors to open up these places. You have to contact PD to open it up. Luckily, a lot of them do advertise the fact they offer this service. 
they get pd is kind of acting as realtors right now which is a bit odd but you know it's a solution to a problem Am I going for on the bigger casino? I want to get at least four tables, I think. I think four would be a good number. See, we also have these ones here. These ones are pretty solid too. The only issue with these ones is that it's facing the road. Like, say if we were to open a pawn shop and allow people to bring in illegal things, like, you know, car parts, HVAC units, stuff like that, it'd be a lot more obvious here. Hey, low move, thanks for two months. Much appreciated. Hope you enjoy those beautiful goblin and maximotes as always, Woof. Appreciate the support. See, in terms of back alley, you don't get more back alley than this one here. This one is super back alley. Because, like, you don't even see the door until you've walked through here. It's really solid. How much was this one again? Oh, this one's been purchased. Okay. I probably shouldn't be here then. Damn, I'm pretty sure this one was like $800,000 plus. Like, probably close to a million. I wonder who... Oh, yeah, that one's probably huge. I wonder who purchased that one. I'm assuming this one's still available. Real estate. Yeah, no one's bought the super, super expensive one just yet. There's also... Let's have a quick look-see. There's a few at the front here, but again, you kind of run into that same issue of, you know, uh, it being a lot more obvious. Ooh, but there is a pawn one here. Ooh. There's one that the exterior is actually a pawn shop. Ooh. How much is this one? Okay, not as expensive as the one behind. Now hear me out. If we were to purchase both this one and the one behind as storage. Oh yeah, because that one's like right in front. God, imagine buying both of them. If we had that sort of money. You could have this as like the storefront and then have the one behind as storage. That'd be sick. Damn, I kind of want to see how... Hold on, how much are the ones down here as well? Imagine these ones are a lot cheaper because they're like small. No, it's the same price. Let's see this one. Are these all the same price? Or am I just looking at the same one? No, this is... Oh, okay. Okay, so it is a lot more expensive. I was just looking at the wrong one. Okay, so this one is a lot more expensive. Gotcha. Almost double the price of the other ones. Probably has a lot more space inside, though. God, like, this whole part, front part is probably windows, right? Damn. That would be kind of sick, though. Even better the fact that it's got Pawn Shop as the actual thing on the front. Let's see, is there anything else around here that would be the same? Furniture, furniture. Appliances. Fashion boutique. Damn, now, these are all, like, different sort of things. Okay, interesting. And these kind of go up in price. I can't ask a cop to open up. It's just, you know, we're only five minutes away from Storm, so there's no point right now. But maybe if we do another tour a bit later. Because I would be curious how big this one is and how big the one behind is as well. But how large is that one? How large is the one back here? Because this one back here is cheaper. So theoretically, we could start with this one. And then expand to the one in front later on if we wanted to. The good thing about these being more expensive though is the fact that probably people aren't going to buy them for some time. I like how discreet this one is though. Like this one you could definitely get people pulling up and just like moving stuff inside very easily. Without having to worry too much about PD. Obviously PD could spy on it if they wanted to but you know. Nothing's meant to be invincible in the city because that's not good for RP. You're supposed to have cracks in your armor. Makes for better RP in the end. This isn't for the casino. I've been theorizing about maybe starting up a pawn shop business and making a whole 
organization, like criminal organization for cleaning money. Like the whole process, basically. I'm going to be starting in the girl's house, like trying to streamline things there and then maybe expand it in the future. So this is like a way, way in the future sort of purchase. Nothing right now. Yet, yeah, sorry, I, I forgot that I'm British and it sounds weird. I'm trying to open up a pawn shop. Not a pawn shop, a pawn shop. Trying to be more American, sorry. I know, I know when I say it in the British, it sounds weird. Hence why the old pawn shop in the city was called Pawn Hub. For that very reason. But yeah, I, I think this could theoretically be something. Like, this would be an ideal location, though. Because the fact that the exterior is already designed for that in mind. There's no, like, even... There's no logo here either, so we can call it whatever we want. Hmm. It seems to be two stories. By looks of it. Yo, we could get a two... Like, we could have, like, the store at the bottom, then office at the top. Yo, that'd be sick. Not much review, but, you know, still, it'd be kind of sick. Hmm. Oh, well, we can't be getting ahead of ourselves too much right now. This is like a multi-step process. The first step is basically learning all the prices, which might take some time. It's something I kind of want to talk to Timothy about. Because he has sold a lot of things down at the fence. So I don't know if he's got that information. Or at the very least, I could run him through the whole idea and see if it's something that he thinks would work. Because he's been looking for some things to do in town as well, like things to do at night time. And this could be something we could work together on. Making an efficient crime business, crime organization. I think it'd be kind of cool. Actually, I wonder, hmm. Would it be better to open it in the south side or up north? Up, up north would be a lot more discreet. But south side do be popping. What was, how was the beta test opening? I think it went pretty good. Like, once the initial issues were resolved and people were allowed in the casino, it seemed to go pretty well. Oh. At least from what I saw and heard. I think we're planning to do another beta test soon, and then we're going to do a proper opening. That's the idea. And then, you know, do a grand opening when we move to the next location. Which, you know... Could be a while from now. That's the idea, though. The general idea. Yeah, I, I gotta think. So, what's our first steps here to do this, then? So, what we need to do is we need to get some sort of storage in the house. Like, a decent storage system. Like, maybe purchase one of those big storages from Jack Cattleman. That'll put us down about 7,500. I need to do some tests with this over here as well I, I need to see how this grind box works but for that i need to go do some hunting and get some boxed fur which would be another you know cost and mental cost as well because hunting is pain but for science i'm willing to do it i just want to see how this works and what we could use it for i'm concerned by the fact that this is only lasts 48 hours i don't like that but who knows, it might be useful. Got to see what sort of storage it provides, if any. Yeah, may do a little bit of hunting for testing reasons. For science, as they say. Just to see what it's like. Now, those boxes have got to be useful for something. I don't haven't seen anyone use them so far, but they've got to be useful for something. Maybe we see who's around after storm and maybe go do some hunting. Luckily, a certain someone has left their hunting rifle in here that we could borrow. So that does save us some money. That does save us a little bit of money. I don't know if there's an issue with us carrying a gun that isn't ours, though. I don't think there should be an issue. Hopefully. Yeah, I'm sure April will be... Whoa. 9,246 rolled cash? Huh? Where the hell did that come from? 
Is that Kitty's? I know she's been selling a lot of moonshine. Damn, has she been using the washing machines? Oh, she has. Interesting, okay. Yeah, if we, if we do want to make this like an actual thing we get into, we're going to need more washing machines. At least like triple the size of washing machines. The, the thing is with the washing machines, you need someone to like actively be around to restock them. I can do that. I'd be fine just to wake up in the middle of the night just to change out the cash. And then, you know, in the morning, we organize people to go do the wash cash runs. Or, alternatively, we hire Fanny to go do it instead. Because I know she does provide a service for that. At least to begin with, while we learn how things go. I'd obviously have to include that in my spreadsheet calculations. Oh, so the server should be restarting now, right? Yeah, it's restarting. And... There we go. But yeah, that's what I've been cooking up over the last couple of days. And I, I think we could make something with this. But I do want to get more involved in the criminal world. And this would be a good way for us to get involved. In a way that makes sense for Max too. Like I said, Max isn't the type of guy just to go start robbing banks and stuff on a whim, you know? If, I get to, if I'm going to start doing that, there's got to be like an RP reason behind it. There's got to be some build up to it. The only reason that we've done a bit of roof running is just because of the fact that we were with April and January at the time. He wouldn't, Max wouldn't like actively go do that stuff himself. It's more of like, you know, he was with some people that would go and do it and he just went along with it. It was fun too. But we can maybe stay away from that stuff and still be fine. Like April has a lot of people that she can do those jobs with. Same with January, too. But yeah, this is what I mean theorizing. I I, I, I want to see what we can do with this. So goals after Storm, then. We're going to... Oh, God, we're going to do some hunting. We might go do some hunting after Storm. I guess we can see who's around. Otherwise, we could maybe do some solo hunting. Server's still signing up right now. Or... We could pay someone to get us the fur. That is another alternative too. Money does speak. Money do be money. Hmm. Well, there's ways we can do it. We also need to pay someone to get the rubber as well. Like part of the, the, uh, the package making is the rubber too. Subathon this Saturday. Yeah, for those who don't know, I am planning to do a subathon this Saturday because it's my four-year partner anniversary. If you have any suggestions of what would make good subathon goals, I've opened up a channel in my Discord for it. So feel free to drop some suggestions there because I suck at coming up with them. This should be just a fun little subathon to do. Spooky game. I don't like spooky games. I guess I could set that as a goal, but it'd have to be relatively high. Subathon goal, I play the first five nights at Freddy's. I will get murdered by Freddy Fazbear. There may be some horror game. Maybe. With webcam on, of course, because that's what makes it fun. We don't know when the Casino Grand opening is going to be. We had a soft opening, well, a beta test opening on Saturday, and we're planning to do another one soon as well. But after that, we're going to try and do more soft openings, and then do a big grand opening once we get the location that we want. So I'm going to BRB just real quick to go refill my war bowl. I'll be back in a second. I'll leave you guys with the chill music in the meantime. Back in a minute. We're loading into the server anyway, so it'll just be a minute.
All right, I am back. Yeah, we used uh, fake money for the soft opening, not real money. Just because we knew there was going to be some issues with it, so we didn't want people using real money then getting mad. Next time, maybe we'd use real money, like next beta test. Then we'll do like some more soft openings where we don't advertise it, but we let people come through. And then, you know, so on and so forth. The good thing about this as well is that we're getting more and more people registered on the website ready for future openings. Which should hopefully make future openings a lot more smooth. Because that's probably the biggest issue once the website issues were solved, is just how many people showed up not getting registered on the website. Meaning like people had to kind of wait outside to get registered. April really did kind of save our ass with that. April did a great job in doing that. She, she relieved a lot of stress for me. <laughs> only downside now is that I owe her an embrace at some point, and I don't know when it's going to happen. That's the only downside. At some point, I don't know when, I'll have to either embrace her or she'll embrace me. I don't know which is worse. Both are pretty bad options, to be honest. I regret teaching her how to embrace. Well, in my defense, I didn't teach her about the embrace. I just said, I said not to use it. In my defense. I warned her saying don't embrace too. But I guess I should have known that would have only enticed her to use it more. So I guess, yeah, it's still my, my, my fault in some way. Everyone in the city is going to get embraced at some point. I only have myself to blame. To be, and every single person that I've told about it and told them not to use it, they always automatically use it. I told Queenie not to use it, then she used it on GG. I think she's gone to use it on January too. Menaces. They're all menaces. How did you find out about it? I found out about it accidentally. Like, I was trying to hug someone, and I thought, oh, embrace, that's like a hug. God, was I wrong. I was so wrong. I learned about it the hard way. I'm glad that she got sent to the sewers. It was only right. Punished for her crimes. But she has not learned. She still uses it and she's still going to use it. Just wait until Barney hits the town again. Barney's going to be even worse. And yes, I know they're the same people, but Barney's like an alter ego. He already is. I knew it. Let's do quick check. Fishing check. Fishing? Ooh. I just noticed that my trucking reputation went down. Ooh. Okay, I was wondering why I hadn't got punished for that yesterday. I guess I got punished for it now. Yeah, because we had a scuff run yesterday that I abandoned, but for some reason I didn't lose any reputation. So we were able to keep doing the runs. But uh, I guess that isn't the case anymore. Eh, I'll, I'll solve that later off stream. I, I don't want to go spend the next two hours at Grime. I'll sort that out off stream. Too easy to still be looking for fishing. I've got hope, all right? I, I've got faith that fishing will become a thing soon and it will pay big bucks. Big, big bucks. Now, I, I doubt there's a restock. If there's, when the restocks happen, they don't happen right after storm. They happen like a few hours into storm. So this, what people are doing is just doing the usual fake out. 
I'm actually not really bothered about getting a new car on Max anymore either. I'd rather save my money and use it, like, invest in something else, you know? I'd rather do that. Yeah, it might be hunting time. Maybe we go hunting. I do want to test to see how those grind boxes work. Oh, let me uh, put the girls' notes up real quick. Let's have a look-see. Girl notes. Boop. In... Yo, do I have any notes to update people on? Oh, should probably tell people about the key. Uh, or should I leave that to Timothy? Hmm. It's probably best that we don't, because people bring people into the house all the time, and that's not really information we want out there, you know? Yeah, okay, let's just do... Hope everyone has a nice day. Smiley face. Max. There we go. Perfect. All right, let's go get Glendale. Yeah, Max knows about the school thing. He's not enrolling in it. Both Max and Timothy agree that 50k is way too much money for that. <laughs> like the RP and everything that's going to come from it probably would be worth the 50k, but 50k in this economy is, is just still a lot of money. Like 50k is like 10 hours at grind, you know? Maybe I'll just see how many people enroll, though. Oh, God. Yeah, that's a whole ass car, exactly. For, like, cars, guns, if ever, I think. Really? I, I don't really know what the breakdown is. I'm assuming it's to pay the lecturers. Oh, God. I just think 50k as where the economy is right now is just like, it, it's a lot. Especially for criminals. You gotta remember, crime does not pay well at the moment. Group 6 drivers probably aren't gonna be signing up for crime school in case they get caught. And obviously, you know, they don't wanna lose their job. A lot of people got the super expensive cars so fast in this economy. That's the issue with the restock system, in my opinion. Everyone's hoarding their money for the restocks. Because they want to be able to get the nice cars. I actually kind of like the idea of us maybe getting a good car like a year and like a year from now, you know? Because it gives us an overall goal to work towards. My worry about getting like a good endgame car right now is that it will demotivate people. Like, they then lose that goal to work towards. Like, no one at the moment is where the economy is right now should have their endgame cars. That's the sort of thing you should be getting, like, a year plus from now. Exactly. I mean, you take Yuno as example. Yuno was only going to be getting himself like a simple car to get himself around in, like the Elegy. A good car, but not like a super expensive car. But because the restock took so long, he was able to just keep saving and saving and saving. And now has like a really, well, I don't know performance-wise if it's good, but it's a very like expensive car. And I doubt that he's the only one in that situation. I imagine there's a lot of people that initially went out with the idea of getting, like, a reasonable car that's pretty cheap to begin with. Like, not the endgame car, but a good car to get them by until they get their endgame car. But now, it's been so long they're able to afford that endgame car. Right. Alright, so what we're going to do, what's the goal? Hello, Max. Hey, Ken. Not much? What's up? Nothing much. Can I go open the shop if you need anything? Ooh, best of luck. 
So some years ago, almost 1.5 million in their bank. Jesus. I know that Marlowe's already up in the millions as well. The car is pretty slow for 600k. Well, the thing is, Yuno's car. Yuno's car is a style car. I don't think it's meant to be the best performing car in the city. It is similar to the fact that, like, how, you know, the limo is 300k, but the performance is, like, worse than the Glendale. The, the price isn't tied to the speed or anything. It's tied to the style. Like, the speed isn't the only factor that's brought in. Because, obviously, the handling is a thing as well, right? In my opinion, I think it's worth going for style over performance because you can't nerf style. Like, you could spend lots of money to buy a high-performing car, but then it could just get nerfed, like, two days from now. And then suddenly, you now just have, like, a really bad car. Style can't be nerfed. Style is style. It's always going to be stylish. So I think Yuno made the right choice, personally. That's been my philosophy when it comes to cars. Do -do. That was very sweet, yeah, Jace. I'm sad that I wasn't able to make it to the thing that she was doing, but it was very sweet that she called Max for that. Perform better if something's wrong with it. Oh, okay, so probably will be improved in time then. I still have a hunting outfit, right? Yeah. Nice. Okay, let's go steal April's gun from the hunting thing. So I need, what was it? Let me go check the ingredients real quick. I need 30, right? How much do you get per deer fur-wise? Because I think one fur gets you two boxed fur, if I remember correctly. So... That'd be 15 fur is what we need. Okay, that isn't too bad. I think you get like three fur per deer, right? So we just need to kill five deer. That isn't too bad. Then we get ourselves some refined rubber. Yeah, let's go do that. Let's do some early morning hunting. I know I, I swore off hunting, but we've got a goal behind this. Oh, how do I look with the gun? Yeah. Sick. No scope. Very nice. Put that away for now. I'm sad that guns don't appear on your back anymore, because that would look sick right now. But you don't get robbed? We probably will get robbed, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Also, does April have a magazine in this? Did she get one in the end? Weapon not equipped. Hold on. Oh, she did. Okay. It's got nine bullets in it already. Oh, is that right? Okay, that's... Oh, oh God. Huh. Ah, nice. Okay. Let's put that back in there. Easy. Well, let me move that to one of my item things. We'll change that to number four. She killed one deer with it. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right let's go, go, go. Skirt. Okay, so we need 30 box fur, which I'm pretty sure is 15 fur. Shouldn't be too bad. Boop. Hey, I like this bit. It gives very much like, you know, rich sort of hunting, you know, British hunter sort of vibe. You know, I'm about to go clay pigeon shooting or something. Hello? You just drove past me, Max. That was me oh. in that car. Oh, you were in the footer? Yeah, I was in the club. I was just in the club. I'm just, uh... Oh, what's up? Okay, actually... Well, Ooh. I actually need to discuss something with you. Um, uh, at some point. Oh, yeah, I can meet oh, you at you the okay? house. Yeah, I'll meet you at the house. I actually need to well, talk I, to you uh, about something, too. Oh, okay. I don't, wait, why did you say it like that? Uh, it's something that happened this morning. I need to update you. What? I need to update all the house on. Okay, 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 okay. I'll, I'll wait, you're here. <laughs> yes, hello. 
Max, how's it going, man? Hey, how you doing, Eli? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I've got a, uh, you talking about my new fit? I'm trying to go a bit more ah, nice, suave, nice. you know? I've been told by the voices in my head, though, that I look like a, like I'm about to go bowling, apparently. But, um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's not a bad look. Yeah, it's Bowling's not, it's not fun. Thing, right? Yeah, I like bowling. always fun. There used to be um, bowling in the city. Wait, really? Yeah, there used to be. <laughs> But it, uh, oh, that sounds like it not for a while. Fun. It was, it, oh. it was fun, but no one ever used it, so. Oh. Because, yeah, I like uh, Take a seat on the sofa. Yes, um, let's take a seat. <clears throat> well, um, Okay, so I'll let you go first. Uh, don't place yourself. Bugs! Okay, that's exactly why I said don't Bugs! place yourself. Bugs! Come on, oh, just get you to the door. Jesus. Uh, I don't know why that happens, because it only happens in here. Okay, I'm good. I'm you can place yourself at the casino, fine. Uh, you couldn't do that. Yeah, you can't place yourself. You've got to sit normally. Oh, okay, okay. Um, all right. What, what's going on, man? What's, what's going on? Okay, so TLDR, Timothy got robbed this morning, and they took his key. What? Yeah, he got full pocket wiped. Everything but his phone. Wait, really? Mm-hmm. He called me about an hour before storm when it happened. It's apparently someone in we a... We can't let that... We can't let that slide, man. We gotta, we gotta do something about it. He doesn't know who it was. It was someone in a senior buns outfit and, like, long shorts. That's all he knew. Senior buns with, a, with, with long shorts? It was up. at senior buns, so it could have just been someone robbing senior buns. Shit. Yeah. The thing is, we could change the locks, but it's gonna cost us $40,000 to replace all the keys. Whoa. And tell me, all that people can rob from the house right now is the seven thousand dollar CPU or GPU. So I don't think it's worth changing the locks right now. Uh, I would say, uh, yeah, I would say to definitely not if it's going to cost that amount. I, yeah, I mean, do they it's going to cost who too he lives much. With? No, they, 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 there's nothing to say that they know where he lives. So all they've got is a key right now. They don't know what the key connects to. It could be any house anywhere. Okay. Oh, it's so annoying. He doesn't know who that who that is because we could easily just like get that you know get someone back there, right? I mean, yeah. Is that it's a, uh, is that legal to do that? I don't know. I'm I'm kind of leaving it to um, Timothy to sort out. He's pretty yeah. bummed out about it right now. Oh my god! Wait, Jesus Christ, Max. Yeah, they took I his mean, ID too, so I guess it's just whoever has his ID right now. I mean, there is a world that. Oh god, the thing is, with that description, especially like before the the storm, like yeah, it, we don't even know. Do you know what I mean? We don't even know. Like, it's a good chance it was someone just robbing senior buns that did it. Oh, they went in with like man. senior buns disguise or something. Shit. Yeah. So oh, just be on the sucks. lookout for any suspicious activity around the house. And I mean, luckily, the way that I believe the houses work is that if someone tries to open up the door whilst not being on the system, the alarm will go off and everyone will be alerted. Everyone in the oh, house we, and the PD will the be alarm? alerted. Is it like on your phone? Or I like, don't know. Like... I've never heard it before. <laughs> okay. Never had it happen, so I don't know. Oh, uh, that's so unfortunate. I feel like Senior Buns is getting hit all the time right now as well. Fuck, man. Okay, right. Well, I mean, if if, you does, if there's not any more of a description that I can't really... Nothing we can really I'm, do about it. It's honest, a very generic I, description. Yeah, like yeah, I, I would happily go and hunt the guy down, but I if that's if it's yeah, just a guy it... in long shorts, I, what am I going to do? press everyone who's wearing shorts <laughs> it's like... yeah it, it, it's not enough to go off to be honest it's probably no. and the senior buns shirt is probably just what they got given there at the place more so yeah, than something yeah, they put on yeah shit okay right well yeah the only chance we had gonna... is like afterwards just going around all the clothing shops but even then that wouldn't have helped too much yeah is he okay like i mean it's pretty uh, uh, it's pretty scary to get right i know he's robbed a few people this time i know it's pretty scary to get robbed he's all right he he's just a bit bummed right now which is understandable yeah, I mean, the only thing I can do is ask a couple of people who I know regularly do rob senior buns and be like, look, did you do that? But I just think, I also think they know Timothy. I don't think they would, like, I mean, maybe they'd rob him for some pay slips, but I don't think they would like pocket wipe him entirely, you know? Yeah, don't mention the key to anyone. The less the pe people that know that there's a key out there missing for this house, the better. Yeah, true. Because that I information will get around. Hence why I'm not putting it yeah, on the bulletin yeah. board right now, because people come in the house all the time. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for letting me know that. Yeah. That sucks though. I hope hope he's okay. I mean, he kept, he kept his SIM card though, right? Yeah, they, they left his SIM card, luckily. 
Okay, okay, okay. Because otherwise, I mean, yeah, honestly, that, that, that's like the most valuable thing to get robbed, to be honest. Well, if they take the SIM card, there's always a chance they actually answer the phone. <laughs> there is also that as well. True. But yeah, you don't want to lose all of your contacts and everything. You kind of like. Yeah, I, I, I've that's... got like so many contacts. Some that yeah, don't really yeah. come to the city anymore. And I just like having them as like memories. Yeah. yeah, one of my good friends, Kalita. I don't think you ever met Kalita, but she's one of my favorite. So, no. one, of my, one of my favorite people, and she's only um, she's only been on the on the in the city like a couple of times but you know one day you know max every, every now and then i just randomly call her number and just just to just praying that you know maybe one day she'll answer it but yeah i've got you know, my never does. potential never does. maybe daughter as well she's only in the city Wait. a few times oh who is it who is it pookie pookie oh pookie pookie yes i met a pookie it's oh, ringing a bell nice. though, i have to say yeah it's uh, ringing ringing a bell hey but hey look max maybe Maybe one day they'll both uh, arrive in the city together and we'll be happy, you know? Be reunited. Exactly. Um, I actually did want to discuss something with you. It's nothing bad, by the way. Mm, what's up? I'm pla well, okay, so I'm planning something. Um, and uh, I wanted to make it like a, like a quite a, I want to make it like a big event in the city. I think it could be kind of fun, but I basically actually just want to actually bring Love is Blind to, to the city. Yes, you've um, mentioned that before. Yeah, so basically what my plan is right now, and I need to discuss it with the voices in my head as well. I, just want to, I kind of want to see what, how you felt about it. The voices in um, my head? Yeah, the voices in my head. We, we've just been discussing it. Um, but uh, I want you, I want April, and I want Fanny to be involved in the organizing of it. Because I know you're very good when it comes to like the, kind of the setup of the venues and your good connections with stuff like that. Hmm. Um, so I want to, again, zero pressure, but it's more I wanted to kind of see whether you'd be interested in it. Um, and kind Talk of help you out with kind of organizing it. Mention it to Murphy because I, I believe he's trying to like give funds for events. Oh, okay. So it might All be right, worth cool. bringing it up to him. Okay. I mean, would you be interested in, in, in helping? Yeah, yeah. No, I'd definitely be well, interested or... in helping out with this. All right, cool. I think it'd cool, be fun. Cool. Fanny's um, a good pick because right. she did a really good, uh, the, the day auction was a really good event. Yeah, I think, uh, I think Fanny's very good with kind of like the actual running of like it actually going down. I think April will bring like a lot of like, she'll, she'll know the people to it to kind of invite as well. Mm. I think you're very good at like kind of the organizing side and actually kind of piecing it together. So, um, the logistics. I got like, yeah, yeah. I kind of got like a little team in my head. Um, but I, uh, I've got like a few ideas of contestants I want to ask. Um, I think the other thing I want to discuss with you is also how we make it profitable because I want to. I do want to do this, but I also want to make some money from it. I'm going to be honest. So, mm. um, I want to have like a prize fund at the end of it. Um, now, you t are you familiar with Lovers Blind? It, uh, as a whole? Vaguely, they, people like go on a date and like explain to each other, but they're blind the whole time, right? So, well, kinda. So basically, what it is is okay. So how it would get set up, right? Is people they okay? For example, let's go. Let's go downstairs real quick. Let me let me give you a practical of what it would be like. We're not going to the bed, are we? No. Okay. No. Just checking. No, I... no. no, we're not going to the bed. Just checking. <laughs> okay, so... I think we would have, like, a room, right? With a bunch of, like, mm -hmm. doors. You stand on the other side of the door. And we would just discuss and talk. But it would be through, like, a like this kind of vibe where we can't physically see each other, right? So it's all about making a connection without physically seeing them, right? Got you. And okay. Then, and then after that, after then after like say say we do, say the the first the first like run of it is that next the next like day or the next week or however however frequently we let it progress, the next time is when they meet. Right. They then actually meet. They see each other. They're like, oh my god, that's that's blah blah blah. What I want also is that everyone ha has to use a voice changer so they don't know who the, who they're speaking to. Because obviously there's gonna be hmm. somebody they're familiar with. They're gonna know, right? Yeah. Very so no one's voices. gonna know exactly. So no one's gonna know who they're talking to. Um. And uh, and basically how it progresses from there they meet, um, then they'll go they'll basically they'll go on a date together, um, and we can like organize different like fun dates for everybody, kind like different like different pairings. Um, after that we'll try and get all of the contestants together, see it's kind of see them mingle, and then uh, after that man they uh, it's either they kind of actually make it official or they go their separate ways. And uh, hmm. the favorite couple, which we can we can get like a, we can kind of figure that one out. A favorite couple will win like we can put like a five ten k uh cash prize up for it or something and like kind of just to incentivize people a little bit and then do, do that basically i think it's a good idea um would it yeah, be more fun that... to do the reveal on the day or would it be better to wait for it uh what do you like, mean by oh as in like, like you know like once they're done with the conversation they walk through the door and meet the person like physically 
Oh, so they basically switch, they switch people initially. Um, what we could do is they, so say there's like eight contestants, right? Um, mm -hmm. Say we've got four, four guys, four girls, whatever, right? And they all interact and mingle with each other. And then the, the, it, the people will choose who they like the most. And that's when they can then be revealed. So we could do that all on one day for sure. Um, but it's just like, yeah, how it's just like the logistics side of kind of like getting it together. But I think mm. it could be really fun. Yeah, I, I think it's a unique event. I haven't heard anything yeah. like that before in the city. Um, I'm going to get like some artwork made for it as well out, out of the city, which should be pretty cool. Um, I want to get like kind of that done with the contestants as well. And then I also want to get like a little bit of artwork done for the for the host. So I was, again, I was thinking kind of like me, you, um, Fanny and April could be like kind of like host it. And then, um, yeah, I mean, I just thought it would be kind of fun. I mean, obviously you would be more than, you're more than welcome to actually partake in it if you wanted to, Max. You don't have to host it. You could just like help in the background and, and be in it or you can host it as well with with us it's completely up to you really all right dude um, yeah, no, I'm, yeah i'm on can... board yeah all right cool 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 cool. um i'm gonna have to like kind of probably do some packer runs with you to kind of get the money together for it um just for like the hmm. prize money and everything else but um yeah i think it could be a fun little event my biggest thing right now is finding a way of getting like the pod aspect of it because like again this is obviously in a one a, like a one doorway right yeah but we would we would need like four pods so we'd almost we need like hmm. basically we would need like okay i've got a stupid idea rooms. okay yeah tell me tell me no, and honestly brainstorming is great the glory hole at the liquid library <laughs> wait which what's the glory hole uh, you know what a glory hole is right i don't have to explain that to you i know what a glory wait no max what is a glory hole i ain't explaining that to you it well no but max i don't know what a glory hole is you need to tell it's me. a hole in the wall at waist height in a bathroom stool what typically the, what, what use would that have to pass through bits of tissue if you need it you're or? an adult you can think what people would use that for i'm just wondering what it would be useful max what would you uh use a glory hole for you example? said you've had sex before you know what it'd be used for I mean, i've never used a glory hole before i'd feel like it wouldn't that be a practical thing to like help you know i mean help with like okay you know if you went stood next to the, the the hole and then you were like oh i really need a bit of tissue and they'd pass it through right people have used it for that before yeah <laughs> Could they've we, also used it for confessionals they've used it for they used it for a, a variety of different things could we go and see it because i actually don't know what i actually have no idea what you're talking about yeah sure but we're not both going in the stool you're going to be a you're going in so, solo so you want to go in the glory hole with me max i'm debating about whether or not i want to take you over there anymore <laughs> i just I'm, i just i don't know what it is i've got an innocent mind max i don't No, I just, you I don't, don't. Know, i've got an innocent mind I, don't lie to me max i'm, I'm just i'm just innocent Yeah, right. And that condom that's in the shoe in there isn't yours. That isn't mine. I yeah, haven't... yeah. Sure, buddy. Sure. It isn't buddy. mine. Sure. It isn't mine. Sure, buddy. Should we go in your car or should I drive in there? I, I can take my car. If you want to park your car up somewhere. Uh, does it park there or should uh, I... Um... No, what I mean is just like leave it somewhere. You don't have to park it up. You can leave it there if you want. Oh, it should be fine there. Okay, cool. I'll just leave it there. Onwards, onwards, man. Oh, I've been going up some things of my own, by the way. Oh, what are you, uh, what have you been doing? I want to start organizing in the house. And what I mean by that is, I don't know if you've seen the back rooms, but they're currently littered with, like, pallets, jewelry, all sorts of stuff. Oh. Okay. Oh, wait. We got, we've been cooking up some stuff. Yeah. But the issue is, I think a lot of people in the house like to rob things. But when it comes to, like, getting those robbed things into, like, money, that's where the issues come in. It's like we have the raw materials for it, but then we don't actually like actually do anything with them. <laughs> exactly. And right? I want to yeah, organize yeah. that. I want to get into a system like, you know, I'll like take it down to the sewers, but then I'll, you know, have to sign someone to do the jewelry run. Like, you know, whether it be you, April or Ray, then I'd sort on washing the cash, you know, laundry machine, VU, stuff like that. Yeah. yeah then yeah, I'd have to sense. assign someone to do the wash runs. Basically, I would do all the tedious work and then you guys can do the like, criminal activity part of it i think what's i think i like that because i think it's like at that point again like it's it's actually going to be productive right because mm. even if we even if we take shifts in it like because all of us haven't done i mean i'll be honest with you, i've never even done a jewelry run before so i'm definitely mm. down to i want to experience all of it you know so yeah, i'm definitely exactly. down to kind of do as much as possible I, I think we've got a lot of people in the house that are willing to work they just need to be assigned something to work on so if I can just yeah. organize all that and like, you know, say like, okay, we got this. Can someone in the house do this right now? 
No, I like no. that. I like, I like the idea. I like the idea a lot. I'm also going to need to get data, like how much each you know, air conditioning unit gets jewelry-wise, car parts, all stuff like that. I want to make a good spreadsheet for this. We know how much money is being made. And then we put the money, what, into a, like a shared bank account? Or like into a... Like how are, we, how are we, like, splitting it up? Well, that'll be involved in the spreadsheet. I'd, I'd calculate it so, like, each person involved in each step will be paid a percentage. Okay. All right, that makes sense. That's, that's cool. That's cool. Because, you know, obviously, I want to make sure people are getting paid for the work they're doing. Yeah, no, I mean, 100%. 100%. Okay, I mean, that all, that kind of all, all makes sense. I, li I like the idea. I like, I, like, I like what you're cooking up, man. Yeah, just a organization. That, that's yeah. Cr criminal yeah. organization. 100%. Oh, with all oh, the liquid library. Here we are. Uh, let's, you know, uh, let's, it, let's suss it out. If things go well, maybe I could expand it in the future. Maybe open up a pawn shop in town that people bring stuff to. I mean, honestly, like, I think thinking for the future is also going to be a big thing. Yeah, hmm. when, you know, when we're able to kind of actually have our own businesses and stuff, I feel like that's going to be a big change, you know? Yeah, exactly. Okay, I got money so... at the moment, so, you know. Oh, wait, you do have money? Yeah, so I, I want to try and think of ways to use it. Cool, cool. Okay, so uh, where is this... Uh pod you were saying about over this way okay okay also i'm probably going to be giving up on the liquid library so it's more open to the public now wait really ah it's, it's just too much of a headache oh really like oh, my passion it for it's manage? kind of gone and also uh... the state owns it so they could kick us out anytime i don't want to put like months of work into this place just to get kicked out yeah yeah all right, so the first or second stool has what I was talking about. The first or second... Okay, hang on. The wall between. Yes. Ah, that is... Uh, that's... That's... Oh, that is a... That is actually a glory hole. That's... Yep. Uh, I didn't... Oh, um... <laughs> did not realize that was actually a thing. We used um, to have an advertisement that said that we were the home of the hole. <laughs> home of the hole? Home of the hole, yes. Okay, so my thing with this right now is so basically everyone's gonna have to be in their own because I'm thinking about the voices. Yeah, it's quite so, cramped space. That's the main down. Also, what is that? Could you check the first would be, for me? Yeah, yeah. Everyone would. Oh god, the, the toilet! It's busted! It's busted! Eh, it's not my problem anymore. Jesus. So I, the only thing is would be is that everyone's gonna have to have their own conversations, um, and I don't want them kind of overlapping because then people are gonna be talking over each other a lot. Do you do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's fair. Um, so I don't I mean, know I mean, how many. Look, the rest of this. Yeah, how so many the... rooms does the liquid library have? A lot. There's the conference room over here. Because there could be a world where we basically use separate rooms, kind of. You can put whatever you want on that TV, by the way. Wait, really? If you look at the remote here, you can put like any link on the remote. So we could watch the contestants on the TV. Theoretically, okay. yes. Okay. You'd have to put like okay. the. Uh, you could theoretically put a stream on here, is what I'm saying. Yeah, no, I know, I know exactly what you're. Yeah, I know, I know what you're saying. Yeah. Um. Okay, I like the idea. I like the idea. Um. Okay. I mean, what I do like here is, I think, also for the date ideas, I definitely think there's a few different act, like kind of areas here. Like they hmm. do like making cocktails or something here. You know, they could. I don't know. There's like there's a bunch of ideas. You've seen the Northern Wing before, right? Northern Wing's oh, got the, some really no, good. No, no. Never seen avenues. the Northern Wing. What is it? There's also uh, the office over there that used to be my office. Really love this office, actually. It's a well, very. I, I don't do think like they're chores. I I, I, like I said, there's no requirement for people to do the things I'm talking about. It's more like say, like, hey, are you free? Do you want to do this job? Think of me being like a fixer in a way. Yo, this place is dope. Yeah, this used to be my office. Oh, hear me. Okay, hear me out. Right, the college. Do mm -hmm. they have like separate, like? dorms you can go into the university doesn't have anything you can go into unfortunately you can't go into it into you can't it go okay, into it unfortunately okay, 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 okay basically what i'm thinking is like i almost need i mean it wouldn't be possible i almost need like a warehouse where we could create separate rooms but i know that would be like crazy. yeah um, you'd have to buy a house to begin with unless you have someone yeah. willing to put that house forward yeah, that's kind of like the only other thing i mean i can maybe speak to fanny mm. and see if she has something possible to kind of work with that but i don't think there's anywhere else in town like you need like lots of doors right we basically just need we basically just need a door in between and so they can hear each other and yeah. then kind of like be somewhat next to each other so we can we can easily hear the conversation because do you want to go I mean, shopping probably, uh 
Wait, you want to do what? Sorry. You want to just go around a bunch of buildings and see what they've got? Yeah, I mean, we can definitely have a, have a little look, see what see what's going on. There's also, I mean, you did say, wait, is Murphy awake at this time? Usually? Uh, sometimes I think. Because I always could. Schedule those. Um, let me. Kind of, I'm thinking maybe because Murphy, Murphy, there is a world that Murphy has a warehouse, and you could be like an investor in it if potentially. Um, maybe. It, I mean, City Hall so has a lot of doors. The City Hall. You know what? You know what's crazy? That such an ideal one would literally just be the apartments, but we would need like an entire floor. Yeah, you'd have to rent out the entire floor, which we is need to be, rent out the entire floor. You have the issue of people running up as well, like interrupting. Yeah, it. yeah, and interrupting it. Yeah, it probably wouldn't work. We need like that kind of scenario though, where there's like different rooms and we can still hear them. Hmm. I think almost a what? Oh god! I think maybe even like a warehouse is kind of like the kind of it seems to be the solution okay maybe murphy would be able to kind of sort that out uh hmm okay so there's a room down here don't you know about the box room don't know if you've ever been here before no i've never been here before that uh blue door to our right well, you can probably go in it mm -hmm. oh shit the box room oh what what the hell i i didn't even know you could go into this <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, not many people know about it. It's a nice little well, secret room. Good for meetings. Yeah, so you get little, yeah, little meetings in here, I guess. Hmm, what about Michael's house? Would Michael's house have, like, something like that? Actually, I do have an idea of something that might be good. Uh, let's see. It used to be called the Bean Manor. The Bean Manor. Okay, yeah, I'm down. Yeah, there's also Tequila La, but I don't think Tequila La really has the sort of thing that you're looking for. Is there like a, the, how is the, do you know that, oh, I went there with Marty, there's like a, the hell? Um, there's like a TV studio type thing, like you can oh, record Weasel stuff. News. stuff. Yeah, I don't know if Weasel News would possibly. It only has that room from my understanding. That's kind of it. But there is Life Invade, and Life Invade only has one main room too. It's a lot of places that only really have like one room. Like Tequila La, there's only really one room. What about the maze? The ma oh, the maze could work. The maze could work as like a last case scenario. Or hmm. the vanilla unicorn is private rooms, right? True, but they're very close together. Okay, this maybe is Bean you Manor. Oh, oh, I like the vibe. Okay, this is such a perfect vibe. We'll park in the garage. Oh. This is cool. You can go oh, through the door to the right is... there. Wait, if this has a... This could be dope. It's almost like... Okay, Max, this would be... Okay, you know what I said? We need them to, like, hang out and, like, kind of interact together. Like, kind of see yeah. if they... This, this is perfect. Like, this is the most perfect situ uh, place for that to happen. Yeah, it's a really nice area. Like, this is... For, like, the second stage of it, especially... I mean, we're going to have to see if there's other rooms. The rooms are upstairs is... that I was thinking of. This is the house 100% where they could like interact and see if like how they actually like kind of actually vibe together, you know? But you put them all in here, they like, this is awesome, man. At least you got that door there. Okay. All right. This is better. This is better. Got There's the a few more rooms. bathroom over here. Got the gamer room over here. Okay, there's definitely a cook here for sure. There's the main bedroom over here. Well, the shadow of the bedroom. Someone took the bed. Oh. <laughs> All that remains is the shadow. If you... I, okay, I think hmm. this works perfectly for the second stage where they all kind of interact and meet up and we can kind of like see how they're all doing maybe for, we can just kind of get them like chatting for like an hour or maybe 30 minutes yeah see how they actually kind of like vibe with each other that's perfect for this hmm. like this is this is perfect. there's a pool around back too and a there's tennis a pool court. what mm -hmm. oh my god it's a nice area oh my god max what if oh my god what if mm, now would that be an overcook we could even have it where if they interact with each other, right? They all wear different outfits with the voice changes on, so they have no idea who they are. Have like, a, we'll see here. But they, this is oh my god, this, this is actually cooking. Yo, 
crazy. There's a freaking pool. There's a pool, a little hot tub. I said there's a nice little tennis court over there. This it's is nice awesome. No, I genuinely love this, Max. This is okay. We we're definitely using this for one stage of it for sure. Like this is actually hmm. perfect. Holy Christ, man! This is amazing. Very stylish. Well, this is just exactly what we needed. Like, with, oh, with the tennis court. Yeah, exactly. You got tennis court down here. Oh my God. Okay, one other place. Could the ranch be a possibility? Oh, the, there's no rooms in the ranch. Well, there's there's the stables. Yeah, I'm thinking but maybe you can't the stables really disguise, could be an option. The, there's no doors to the stables. So the unless only you do thing like we... either side. Oh. Let's yeah, so either side, and then maybe if they wear like a real like say okay, you know have you ever seen the masked singer before? I have not, no. Okay, so what the masked singer is is basically like um, so it's like cele a celebrity will sing right, and they'll wear a really ridiculous outfit, but you have no idea who it is. Oh, and then they sing, okay. and then judges kind of vote on it and stuff. But um, what we could do is uh, have everyone if, if they if they have to see each other. I just have everyone dress in, in a ridiculously dumb outfit and then uh so they cut and then put the voice changer on as well they're gonna have no idea who, who they are right so it yeah. still is love is blind but like they are they're still just seeing someone but it could be you know it doesn't need to be them at all you know hmm but that, that's like on the on the worst like worst case scenario in an ideal bit i mean it's we have good them in, we have them in their pods. I think if Murphy somehow has enough money for like, I don't know if he has a warehouse, but if we were able to physically build a set, that would be so perfect. Yeah, like just a house or something. Or just like a house. Yeah, we just need like a bit where they, we can take people into, because even if we did it where, even if we had like a house which was set up for it, and then we just did two people at a time, and we could just call, like kind of have people arrive at certain moments, and then do it that way, you know? Okay, we're gonna roll um, from these GC six workers real quick. You ready? Oh, this is, this is Jason. This is Jason. Oh, we'll leave him to it then. Oh, you, you said you wanted to rob them? <laughs> yes, roll up on them. What? The G six workers have had it too good Max, for too long. The casinos changed you, man. The casinos changed you. They've had you. it too good. <laughs> They think they're the elites of the city. It's changed you, man. You're crazy now. I mean, you could still do G6, Max. It's not It's not too late for you. You don't have a that felony. That is true. You're still one of them, man. You're still one of them. <laughs> don't you dare compare me to them. <laughs> okay, so how far away is the ranch? That's just up here. Okay, okay. Ooh, I, I do like this area, though. I think this is kind of cool. I think there's a there's a really good cook here, Max. I think, oh, I think this could be really fun if we if we get it if we're able to get a few people together for it. I, I think this event could be dope. I kind of want to get it get it sorted within like a week or so. Um, there's week, a lot of people that'd be interested. I I kind of have like uh I'm gonna discuss a little bit. There's definitely I've definitely got an idea of uh, who I kind of want in my head. Um, yeah, it stables back this way. Look all the, the, there's so many farm animals here. Oh, wait, this is cute as hell. There's pigs, deer, cows, chicken. Yo, wait, this place is cute as heck. Can you buy this? Maybe sometime in the future. They, January really wants it. <laughs> she wants this to be the Foos <laughs> yeah, Ranch. Not surprise me. The Foos Ranch. Okay, I can see it now. Yeah, honestly, I think it would suit them perfectly. I mean, honestly, yeah, 100%. But here's the stables. So you could have like... Oh. Uh, some of them are open. Th these ones aren't as open. The ones over this way are more open. Huh. 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 Uh, these ones are a lot more accessible. Well, actually, are they? Are they accessible? Well, I, mean, I thought they were. Ooh, so some of them are, not. some of them aren't. Uh... I could have sworn more of them were open. Fuck. Uh, there's a lot of them, luckily. Because what we could do, it just, it's a little bit kind of dirty. I kind of wanted to be a bit more like fancy. It's kind of, if it, if it were, honestly, this would work. Yeah, I guess this isn't too classy, is it? <laughs> Rusted classy, stables. But, but it is perfect because because they're spaced out. If we were able to get access to like these and have people in between, then that would work. But it's kind of like it doesn't. It yeah. Doesn't really, it doesn't really fit the vibe. You know, I'm thinking like. Not really what we're looking for. 
Well, in, in an ideal world, okay, ideal world, right? There is a pod with a door in between. No clean manner, unfortunately. Like a thin wall. There is a sofa on either side where they can sit. Mm -hmm. And then we just get them to speak. And we put them like, on a timer and that's kind of how... It'll be, it's like simple in design. But, I, you know, we get like it set up nicely. Have like a table in the middle. Have like a really nice sofa. Kind of get them to the setting. What are you doing? Nice car, though. Pick all the contestants up in this car. <laughs> we get a limo. Oh we need a limo. God. Oh my God, Max. Yes. We have to steal we one. Them, we pick them up in a limo. And we, and we give them separate times. Even if we could get one pod. Oh, my God. That's perfect. We yeah. give them like a drink. We get them We get them like a drink in the in the car. Oh, my God. This is... Oh, my God. This it is would perfect. Be this it is would be perfect. pretty sick. Oh my god, we're actually um, cooking up right I'm trying now. to think if there's any other areas I can think of. Uh, there's Grandma's house, but again, that's not, like, very fancy. The, the, the one, the vibe was perfect, which it was the was the Bean Manor. I think that, like, to have them, like, have that as the second stage where like, they all kind of go to a mingle before they kind of, like, figure out where they actually settle in. Well, we're looking for the I think places that, that aren't works houses really right well. now. Um... Mm, I think the maze, I think, would be good, but the only problem is, is like, it is you're just talking into a bush. Yeah, you know? it like, doesn't have the same sort of vibe to it. It doesn't have the same vibe, and I think also, like, it's going to be hard for us to actually watch and... Do you know what I mean? Like, what hey, I want Ace. is that... Thanks for the basically, subs. when they're in the pods, Much we can kind of almost Hope sit, enjoy the sit beautiful outside goblin of the wall, and so they don't know we're there. Courtesy of Almost like have like, like a see-through bit of like glass, right? Kind of like how mm -hmm. the police have it, right? But we can look through and watch their conversation, see how they're doing, see it from both sides, right? But we can like actually peer in and see if you get what I mean. We rent out PD. And I, I, I'll be so real, the PD would be perfect. <laughs> it would. You, um, the interrogation rooms. Yeah, the interrogation room would actually be perfect, but I don't think they'd let us do that. Can you get, can you purchase like a like a mirror you can see through i don't know actually uh not that shit. i know about but there's probably that ways be, you could do it that would be so dope if we could do that okay next thing is how many contestants do you think we we should have hmm. you don't want too too many oh there is a room up here that might work yeah, yeah let's go and check it out i was thinking like maximum of 10 probably eight right hmm I'm thinking like four, yeah. four, four. Yeah, you don't want too many, otherwise it's just going to be like clashing their voice. Yeah, I think maybe eight is probably the sweet spot. Yeah, eight. That's four groups, right? Right. Yeah, be like yeah. yeah. We like, we'll do like four boys, four girls, and then we'll like kind of do it like that, you know? Um, I there are some people that I definitely want. I really want them to do it, but um, you kind of get it. Probably get a bit more solidified first. Yeah, I like, take like, things I like one step at a time. I like the vibe from the This outside. is technically the FIB building. Okay, but you know what? It looks like a filming studio. I actually really... So far, I like this. This is very nice. Come with me. Okay, this is dope. I, I actually really like this so far. Oh. This is it, Eli. What? Uh, 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 Max? Max? Um, Max? You should have paid that 15k sooner, Eli. Max, I paid, I paid, I paid, Max. Jesus. You paid? You really paid? It's paid, it's been paid, Max. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Please. Okay. Please. Oh, God. Please, please. Just, okay, you don't need please. to be on your knees. Please, Jesus Christ, Max, please. <laughs> you're good, you're good. I was oh, just God. joking around. Oh, Jesus, Jesus Christ, you're crazy, man. Absolutely crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if this suits the vibe you're looking for, though. Yeah, I think this is, uh, hey. I feel like... <laughs> it's the location I mean, you know about now, though. It's I mean, creepy. I definitely now know about it. Yeah, if I ever want to interrogate someone, this is definitely the place to go to. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. Very creepy. The casino changed you, man. It, changed you. it has not changed me. I'm just having a bit of fun. You're a criminal without a felony, Max. That's what you are. You're a cold-hearted killer. <laughs> I think that's... Yeah, there's the elevators, but that's kind of it. 
Let's do the elevator. It's yeah. Still work. Are the upstairs still there? I don't know if, the, if oh, there would no. be like a... Oh, no. they, be they used to be upstairs to this, but I don't think they're there anymore. Oh, rooftop bar would be so dope. Yeah, I don't Yeah, I don't think these work anymore. Damn a it. rooftop bar would be amazing. Well, it wasn't a bar, it was offices, but, you know, still. That could be nice, though. Even, like, to have, like, meetings yeah, about yeah. kind of like, discussing this. I actually really like that, though, you know? Uh, hmm. I'm trying to think where else... Uh, I'm going through like the catalog in my head of things in town. You have the the place that we did those Yu-Gi-Oh duels, the Life Invader building. Back. Don't think it's got many doors though. Is the thing? Yeah, I don't know if the, I also don't know if that's the right vibe. What about the stadium? Stadium. There's like a fame or shame studio in the stadium. We could check that out. We could have a little yeah, look. See, well. see what it's like. Not do much else at the moment. I was just about to go hunting. Oh, wait, you're about to. Yeah, I'm, I'm testing some things at the moment. Oh, I need to, some like, fur. Oh wait, you're trying to get trying to get a new jacket? Like, what's uh, what's going on? Uh, so I got the blueprints for some grind boxes, and I want to make one and see what it's like. Okay, 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 okay. What, if, uh, if what does that do? Storage. Oh shit! Nice. That could be really good for the jewelry stuff as well. Yeah, I think it'd be a good way to get things down to the sewers if it works in the way that I'm hoping that it works. I think it almost like kind of like a almost like a additional bag kind of vibe, right? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Have to okay. See how I mean, that works, makes sense. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Where else can we go to? Yeah, well, let's head to the stadium. Stadium next stop. RV trailers could work. Uh, what trailers? There was like any RV trailers we could almost use. None for sale, unfortunately. There's the movie studio trailers, but they don't have doors on them. I'm just trying to think of how... Hmm. Hmm. Huh. How could we... Huh. Uh... Huh. Uh -huh. Hmm. I'm trying to think... Oh, God. I can't... I'm just trying to think about it. There's other ways maybe we use vehicles in some way, but I don't know if that would be... Ooh, there's the scrapyard. Too... Scrapyard? Yeah. Again, not the right vibe, but it's got doors. It's just down the road from here, so we go check that out afterwards. So here's the stadium. It's just this way. You used to be able to go in the stadium, but I don't think so anymore. But down this way is what I was thinking of. Da, 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 da. Down this way. Boom. Oh, is this? Oh, oh, that's dope. Yeah. Oh my god, dude, we could have We could have people try and Not anymore, no. Burton Island's uh, gone. What's a, what's a, like a not a tryout? Like an audition. Yeah, like, this would be perfect for auditions. We this... could almost do like an audition before, right? You've got this little area over here too. That's oh that's a cool idea. Can this be re redesigned at all? Or is that Unfortunately not, not, not no. Shit. What we got is what okay. we got. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. It's an idea, I though. I like this idea, though. I think maybe, like, auditions could be held here. Like, can try and get more of the city in. They can tell us, like, you know, why why they would be good on Love is Blind. Uh, you know, who they, you know, who the idea, ideal partner is. We can kind of, like, see who are the most sought-after people in the city are, trying to, like, get them involved, you know? Like, kind of go like that would be kind of cool. And they can enter from, like, behind. Yeah. Like, oh, my God, wait. Boom. Yeah. Wait, this is actually... They... Okay, there is a world that they stand on either side of the curtain. That could work. There is also... Because then people could... The recording could happen, like, from here. Because we can still see them and hear them both, right? Yeah. This could theoretically work. This could... Oh. <laughs> Moving forwards. And they'd have to make sure they don't, you know, use their vision to, you know, kind of see too far around that curtain there. Yeah. Um, okay, there's definitely a, a possibility there, that's for sure. The physics on this is so cool. There's nothing like this in GTA. It's weird. It's, it's, cool it's very idea, unique. We're, we're cooking up a storm right now. 
Can you even come in here in base GTA? Yeah, it's definitely something. Isn't this just for a cutscene? It's Is there something else? you could definitely use. Uh, in here, I don't think so, no. Okay, 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 okay. But that combined uh, with, like, the mask idea thing could work, just in case they peer around. Yeah, yeah, I guess if you, like, yeah, got them dressed up in different... Let me check. This isn't still here, is it? Ah, no. Oh god, where'd he go? Okay, he's, he's karate chopping locals. You karate chopped a local, didn't you? I thought so. Alright, let's see. I don't know whether the VU with the private rooms, whether they'd be if you a bit... The Mm. Whether they'd be too close being a problem, you know? And I feel like, I don't know whether they'd be too close. What about the furniture gallery? Is that a thing? Uh, furniture gallery? Yeah, yeah, the, the furniture hell? gallery. Is that a. What the. Um. <laughs> karate. Excuse run him down, me, Max. gentlemen. Get him. Get him. Get him, Max. Uh, you mean the furniture showroom with the Kettlemans? Uh, I guess, I guess so. I, I you guess have to so. talk to them about it. Oh wait, can can you not like go and see it? Like, is it? Do you need to like get it to get unlocked? To, like, it's in the house. In? Yeah. Oh, it's inside the house. Oh, yeah. Okay, I didn't realize that. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, um, there's this hmm. area over here. Okay. There's a tank. Okay. Mm. Again, it's just like the vibe. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, it's not really the right vibe. I think we really. pull up. We pull up with people. Do we pull up with April here? She's gonna be like, "What kind of budget ass <laughs> TV show is this?" Right? Like, I'm yeah, thinking. Yeah, you can go through that door up there. I'm just thinking some of the people that I want involved in this, like they're. It, it's this might be a little Very too. Class. Yeah, it's probably not what yeah, we're looking for. It might be a little too dank, you know. Like, bro, uh, one who I want to, I want is like Mickey, and there's, he's gonna pull up here and like, bro, bear in mind, like their company house is like so bougie. He's gonna be like, well, why, like, why did I bother? Like, straight up, why did I bother? You know. So like, mm. also, what do you think is like a good, a good charging price? Because I'm thinking like, hey, look, pe people put in some money, but then there is a prize, there is there is a larger prize fund at the end. But ideally, I still want to be able to make some money out of this. Yeah, that's gonna be a difficult one. I mean, I don't, I don't necessarily need to make money for it, but I'm thinking like, just to kind of. Even if it's like a small profit, like basically the contestants over the contestants basically will make up the prize pool. Um, so maybe if we charge like two k each or something, and then even if we made like like maybe like six k, maybe we made like six k from it, right? It's, it's still better than nothing. We still make something. I mean, yeah, also like two k is like too much, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Otherwise, I, I think the priority for me right now is probably asking Murphy. In case he, because as you said, he wants to kind of like put more money into it, right? Mm. So there is a world that we are able to get a warehouse together and actually set up a set, which I think you would also be really cool with. You're good with that stuff, right? Are you doing um, a set and like setting it all up? I could probably get something. I, though I'd probably try and hire someone. Okay, I actually do you know someone who's good at. I do know a couple who are good at decorating, so <laughs> could also ask them as well. But the there is a couple of good ideas here. There's a couple of good ideas coming up there. Yeah, I'm trying to think if there's um, anywhere else. A lot of like little rooms and stuff like that. Ideally, you want somewhere that not people are gonna stumble upon in as well. Yeah, I just don't. Want, I that's my biggest thing. Also, I don't want random again. It's not not like kind of uh, you know. Obviously, I want people to be watching it. I just don't want ev everyone kind of like just swarming in. Oh wait, can I just mm. come to take school real quick? Hey, go ahead, go ahead. Jamie, what's going on, man? Yeah, I'm trying to think. When we, well, I'm actually, uh, I'm, look, okay, you're actually, David, you're actually someone I can probably speak to. I'm setting up an event. Um, Isn't there like a little apartment around here? How's your love life doing? Can't just ask someone that. What if, it, what, how do you feel about dating shows? It's down here. Would you want to be the music for it? No, 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 but I think, okay, basically I want to, I want, I'm making Love is Blind, okay, we're, we're setting it up. If, could you, could you, could you make like a Love is Blind, like, like theme song? That'd be so dope. I don't know, it's just like, but you don't even need to see it. Like, I can, I can give you like a, like a brief synopsis of it or something, and then 
Just like a really quick yeah. like little theme theme thing. It's like, I oh my god, that'd be so dope. Like, I can't remember exactly where it is. Like a week, two weeks. Oh wait, oh my god, okay, okay, Damien, I've gotta I gotta make one more cool one. My friends have said call me please, and I think they're in trouble, but um I'll give you a call back once I've once I've given them a call. But uh, I'm de I'm def what, when do you usually wake up? Is it this one? I want to check some real okay, quick. Okay, okay. Well, um, would I, I want I want some I want some tinks when Eli time, all right? I want some time. Is this still here? It is still here. Not really useful, but uh, this is just for my curiosity more than anything else. Sorry, man. I, uh, my friends just said call me. By the way, I can't get on this side because of this bin. Let me just. All right, so we'll good. Knock it over. Is she okay? Why is she not answer? Oh, Raya, Raya, are you okay? Oh, okay. Jesus, you said call me. I thought you were in trouble. What's some other good interiors? I feel like I've gone through most of oh, them right now. Oh, yeah. Your timing there was. I literally had picked up the phone probably five seconds before that. <laughs> Uh, I'm just scoping hmm. out. So basically, Raya, I'm setting up a uh, lover's blind. Um, you, you can, but you can't go in the rooms then, there, uh, so it wouldn't work. The hospital one, that is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Would you be interested? Of course, would work, but that's oh, wait, the I mean, it's, government it's business you got to remember. You know, you just, you just, just for a dating show, you know. But vault wouldn't work because the people running it well, and out. Well, you could win. There's gonna be. Well, uh, I haven't set it so up properly. Work. So ironing out details, but there'll be like a 10k prize pool at the end of it. All right, cool. Uh, well, yeah, I'm just scoping out, scoping out like a uh, little venues right now. But um, after after that, I'll be free. Oh, wait for a for a. Uh, wait, when when? Oh yeah, oh yeah, 100 percent. Yeah, definitely, definitely now. 100 percent. Let's do it. Okay, okay. I'll see you. See you in a bit, Raya. Bye. Yeah, ICC yeah, isn't a thing anymore. Did you just see what Carvella's twat, Max? Uh, what did she twat? Uh, she said, need male strippers at the VU. <laughs> ah. Um, okay, let me... Actually, she's... Oh, dude, she screams love is blind. This is going to be... Oh, she'll be good for I it. I got her. Oh, bro, I mean, cool her now. She does Holy. have a house in the Vinewood Hills that might work. <laughs> she could be... Hmm, maybe she would be... Okay, Carmella, what are we thinking? We thinking a host or something else, or we thinking probably contestant, right? I think she'd want to be a contestant. I think she'd be great for a contestant. Okay, mm. let me give her the a voice call. Voice is feeling better today. Had a good few days of rest. Hello. Okay, first of all, I did to see what you twatted out. Very interesting. Um, email strippers. Oh, right. Where, well, what's going on over there? Oh. <laughs> I mean, wait, you trying, that are you, used to you exist, want me to pull up? Is that what you're, you're trying to get me to do right now? No, I mean, I can pull up my strip. I missed a lot of the interiors from 3.0. Okay, fine. Um, I do actually was calling you for oh, a reason. The roosters. Um, <laughs> what? Ah! Actually... There's the garage okay, Max, up here. She wants me to put on a stripper outfit and Wait, let's do this first. Let's do this first. Oh yeah. This this isn't gonna be useful. I just like this is just an area. Oh, you just like coming here. Yeah. I uh, basically I'm using this as an opportunity to show you like cool little areas in the city. I do like this wait, who's this? Security. It's just security guard. Ah I actually can't believe how much we're cooking right now, man. Dude, you know have you ever heard Damien's music before? I have, yes, he's very good. He's gonna do the freaking theme song, man. Very nice. Like this is actually cooking, bro. This is cooking. Um. Okay, actually. Uh, so you want to get changed into a stripper outfit? Yeah, let's do the stripper outfit. We'll go to the VU and then we'll um we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll do that. So what's Are happening cool? at the VU then? I mean, do you want to do you want to join? No, I'm good. Uh, do you want to? Okay, well you could watch though. Could you film it? Could you vlog it for me? How much? You want me, I don't think they allow cameras in the VU. Oh, do they not? 
Okay, can you help me with my stripper outfit then? Oh god. Okay, yeah, sure. I'm thinking like just underwear, right? Straight straight off the rip, I'm thinking Okay, like, like the heart underwear? I'm thinking like heart underwear. Although I don't know where in the catalogue. Uh I can't find it in on the railing, you know, like uh just, the just boxes. Um is that a towel? <laughs> I think so. It's meant to be for like a dressing gown or something. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh god, the cheese print. Oh the cheese. Oh, this is perfect. <laughs> oh god. Yep, that's then... it. Just get rid of the top and everything. You're good. Oh. Uh... <laughs> and then. Okay. What do you do? You. Oh, and then, hang on a minute. I've got to cook. I've got to cook. Okay. Where is the watermelon? The what? The watermelon. What do you mean the watermelon? She can, she can crush crush a watermelon with her thighs. What? You looking for a mask? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, let me do this. She can. She can... That's not a watermelon. That's a pineapple. <laughs> Crush. There we go. Okay, this is perfect. All right. Let's go, Max. To the VU. Okay, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> to the VU, man. <laughs> to the VU. <laughs> let's get going. This is perfect. Perfect. It's definitely something. We'll, we'll just swing. Okay. Is there any um good uh you know moves I can I can you know. You know what I'm trying to. You know any good moves? I think there's for... some stripper moves you could do. Oh, there is. Why can't I not do it sure. when I'm in the car? Oh, I can. It, it, don't do it whilst you're in the car. Oh no, yeah, no, yeah. Um, stripper. Not in my car. <laughs> Wait, is what's it? Uh, you know, I'm just kind of, you know, oh, okay, it's. Oh, you know, it's like the classic twerk. There's many options. Lap dance. Lab dance might be what you're looking for. Okay, this is perfect. This is perfect. Oh my god, we're cooking. <laughs> yeah, I guess I guess we are. Yes. Will you uh escort me in? What do you mean by escort you, can... you in? Well, because you could be like you know, the sexy British side piece, you know. Right. No. I'll walk you, you in. You don't like the idea. I don't think I'm a stripper they're looking for either. I think you're you're fitting the bill more than I am. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. To be fair, I mean, it's uh, I got a pineapple on my head, you know. Just yeah, you do. Oh, Jesus, you're looking okay. to get your head crushed by Carmella. <laughs> you're down bad, man. In both I know. terms. I know. All right, it's time. Now, I mean, this I. There's no way this goes wrong, right, Max? I mean, there's, there's no not way, at all. Right? Yeah, surely not. Surely like, let not. Me, uh, let me just. You you got this. I believe with believe Here in you. Go. I'm sure your head oh, will get now crushed. We're it. Now we're working it. Is this the entrance here? Yeah, this okay. is the entrance. Someone order a male stripper? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just go to the stage. Oh, hey, girls. Get on Hello. the stage. Okay, ladies, this man in the pineapple hat, you can be like really rough with. Like, make him okay. cry. Oh, right, he I deserves it. Okay. Like, scream at him, okay? Free therapy right here. What are they doing here? Okay. Hit it, Carmella. Hit it. Break. Um. How am I doing? Riding my pony. You want it? Hop on it. I think it. that is Rocco, yes. Riding my pony. Come on out. Okay, well, yeah, keep going. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. You ready? Here we go. Oh. 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 Hey, girl. Okay. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Hello. One order of a hot male stripper, I think you might have. 
Ready for these moves? Bend and snap. Bend and snap. You guys, anyone, Jesus any dollar Christ. bills, guys? Oh, uh, uh, you should go he's on a diet. Us. Oh my Eddie. God, he's mansplaining just... stripping to us. What That's actually wow. uh, uh, That is pretty crazy. Look at the skin um, he's showing. Seriously, uh, no, this is not a not enough. This is all for you. Leave some stuff to the imagination. I mean, Carmella is the reason I'm wearing a pineapple on my head. Why is that? So you could crush it with your thighs. Okay. What? Uh, oh, you did not uh, just say that, dude. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, 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 thanks to Prime Gaming. Much appreciated. Without the pineapple, though, and just absolutely split your skull in half. <laughs> oh, uh, anyways, carry uh, on. Well, hey, that was all I got to got for you guys. I'll see you guys That's later. It? That's You're it. really oh, flat. No, 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 no. Well, Make me in the back. Wow. Okay, fine, I'll come back. Fine, fine. Even more than that. Oh, okay, in the back. Oh, Jesus. Okay, fine. I'm coming. I'm coming. <clears throat> um, uh... You got it, Jamie. You got it, Rocco. Um, uh, yeah, it is Rocco. When are we allowed to stop? Never. 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 Okay. You're not. You're I think there you just for our going. We don't yeah. care about your feelings. You don't care how tired you are. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Purely as objects for our enjoyment. That's right. Yeah, I think this is a Dan right here. <laughs> Do I really need another dollar? So what you doing after this? Yeah. Hey, wanna go out later? It's so awkward without any music. Yeah, that's what I thought. Take it off. I don't know if I'm supposed to actually go take it off now or not. Yeah, me too. I don't know. I don't know what they want from us. Oh from my god. Right now. These guys are pathetic. What? You Show gotta at least change boobs. up the moves a bit. You, you've been doing the same moves like the last five minutes. Change up yeah, a bit. Yeah, change it up a bit. It's so change boring. It Do some different Jeez. moves. Oh it's okay. like watching a TV on repeat. Are those real? Psst. Hey, you. Yeah, what's up? Yeah. You cool? Y yeah, I'm cool. You cool? Yeah, I'm cool. Nice. Wanna buy a gun? <clears throat> I'm good, oh, no, thank no. you. License? I, I, I'm pretty good right now. I appreciate the offer. Thank you. Show me. Why not? Uh, I, I don't really need felon? one. I'm not a felon, no. I've got a few traffic tickets. That's kind of it. I can't close my mouth now. Uh, Do you want to buy a gun? Uh, uh, I'm the one with the product. Uh, Rocco, what the hell are you, uh, you buying or you just looking? Uh, I'm just looking right now. I'm just staring. Are you looking at me. I'm just looking. You're making a scene. You're, I'm, I'm not me. You're the one with the pothead. Act natural, buddy. We're don't both act going suspicious. Down. This is a women's Ooh. only meeting, man. What is it? We're not supposed to be here. So you guys I'm here as emotional support for the, the guy that was shirtless. Did we ask? Yeah, that'd be yeah, fun. Don't, worry about that. don't talk to us. Jeez. We're just we we do blend in. Yeah, Don't act suspicious. Just act natural. Just act natural. Do it, clap. <laughs> Answer the question. Do it. You guys should take more pictures. Um, Listen, you should start an OnlyFans. That's a good idea. This feels so awkward. No one would buy it. <laughs> yeah, I probably wouldn't pay for it. Because you'd no. be a fucking horror once you started it, so. Yeah. <laughs> I, but probably would look at the leaks of it on Reddit, you know? Yeah, I'll definitely oh, look at leaks of it and then insult you afterwards. Excuse oh. me, we need more male strippers. It's Women's Month, so get on the stage, gentlemen. So? 
Just blend in. All right, let, let's go put on some proper time, guys. Oh we'll be right back. You can change backstage. Just blend oh, in. Oh my gosh. They're doing pretty good. But you can do oh. better. Do better. Do fucking better. Yeah. Smile, Mori. Come on. Let me I want. Play. That's right. I want you to think. I want to think that you're gonna fuck me. Okay. Where did Eli go? Is he dead? Oh. Carmela's back, but Eli's gone. For you to pay attention to me. Where the hell did he go? Hello. I think you forgot. Oh, there he oh, is. My text message. Hello. 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 Hello? You you all good here? Have you boys ever heard of Bitcoin? I could take care of you. Max, did I hear, is Mr. K, did Mr. K yeah, here or did I imagine here? Yeah, he's voice? gonna go get changed, go on stage. Wait, where is he? Is he is he here? I think he's getting changed right now. What, back, back there? Potentially, I didn't know which way he went. Morgan, I'm giving you a chance, man. <laughs> You'll never find someone better than me. Hey, Jenny. Hey, Max. I'll treat you right, Having baby. Fun? Uh, yeah, sure, yeah. <laughs> I hate it's definitely something. Women. Man, that really is. Oh. Yes, he lied. I'm outside, man. I'm outside. Uh, okay, I left, okay, I left. I'll, okay, I'll be there in a minute. Okay, see you in a bit. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't stop. Now. I'll catch you in a bit, Jenny. Yeah, you Max. Just uh, send us a text if you're free. <laughs> Will do. Yeah, so it feels so awkward the fact that we just got jazz music going on. It doesn't suit whatsoever. Uh, here? Oh, yeah, sorry. I'm here. Oh, sorry, sir. I, I, I was uh, in my head. I didn't know if you'd left. Um, <laughs> no, could, you possi could you drop me off at the house? I'm going to do some jewelry runs with Raya. Oh, yeah, sure thing. By the way, Max, I just want to say it. We need to do this more often. I'm waking up earlier now, so let's, uh, please, can we actually do more, like, rant? Just, like, I really, I really enjoy just doing, like, random stuff with you, you know? Yeah, just cruising around town, get into stuff. Well, also, I've actually learned a lot, by the way. Like, this is like very, this is all very new to me. Like, the, all of the the um, uh, venues and like events and stuff. Like, this is this is dope. Like, this is I've I, I, like, even outside of the Lovers Blind. Like, I've now found so many new things which I had no idea even existed before. Things that you can cook with, basically. You found you some more you, ingredients. You know what you should do? You should do like a like a host like a tour of Los Santos. Well, that's what I used to do with taxi work. Like, I, I gave people tours of the city. Like, that's what I gave to Timothy when he first came to town. Oh. There's so many more it, areas I haven't shown you, too. You call it Max Darling's tours. Well, the Darling is just a me and April thing. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Max. I appreciate it, man. That's no worries. Best of luck with your thank runs. You. Oh, if any data you find from it, I'd appreciate it. Oh, like, yeah. Like, 100%. how much it pays, you, like, how much, like, per jewelry it is. That's sort oh, of data no, that I kind of need right now. Yeah, that's all good. That's all good. I got you. All right, perfect. Thank you. Nice. Catch you in a bit. Easy. You know, I, I really enjoy do, giving people tours of the city because that sort of stuff you just won't know unless you know. There's no way that he would stumble upon that box room, for instance, you know? There's a lot of little things like that around town. There used to be more. It's just, you know, things have changed over time. Well, so let's go refuel the car real quick. It's good to see the Dans are still going strong in the city as well. I'm starting through with Raymond's G-Wagon license plate. Oh, right. I actually don't even remember how it started between me and April. I, I think she was just making fun of my accent and it just kind of progressed into a thing we just call each other. I think she was just pretending to be overtly British. And now it's our thing. Feels wrong if Max calls anyone else darling now. Well, it's different. There's darling and there's darling. Two very different, very different words. Good, let's refuel. I can't, 
<laughs> I kind of want to go back to the VU and just continue watching the show. I kind of want to just keep watching and chill there for a bit. Yeah, let's go back there for a bit. See how, how it's going. It's been a while since I've last chilled with... Uh, Jenny. Hunting we can do at any time, really. See what's going on there. There we go. Here we go. Get part on up. Let's go watch the Mr. K show. That was a good one. <laughs> Getting pretty calm these days. Mm -hmm. How do train tickets work? That's basically priority is what that means. Because there's a queue to enter the city. Are you a virgin? You're only worth anything if, if you are. You've had sex with other men before me? <laughs> what the hell? Carmela definitely seems to be having fun Whore. with this. Whore. What? Whore. Worthless. Lose Not Come really on, surprising that Rocco's here, to be honest. This seems right Come up Rocco's alley, girl. what we know of him. I'm watching the game. It's a shame April's not around right now. She would love this. I'm actually not like other guys. I'm nice. <laughs> it's funny. You are so fucking dry. It's still just those two up there. <laughs> Are you like on your period or something? Why are you so quiet? <laughs> Let me guess, you're mad at me. Oh my god. You're mid. You're actually just four out of yeah, ten. Yeah, this isn't very much a Brocco's alley, because doesn't he, he just likes people being nice mean guys to him? You finish last. This is one hundred percent his thing right now. You're crazy. Then after this, we'll see who's available. Maybe we we'll go hunting with people. You owe me sex now. I'd rather watch your brother. Oh, April would still get Calm money down. from Rocco with, from this. God, there's nothing. That, you don't have to be emotional you're right crazy. now. Oh my God, you're so emotional. You're so emotional. That one too. Oh, so I'm the bad guy. How you feeling, boys? Great. F feeling okay? Probably see if we can contact the rest yet. of the girls after this, because I, I need to really update people enough. on the Timmy situation oh God, still. Just like my ex. I, I, I need to let like Kitty, like Gigi, and the rest of them know about the key situation. Yeah. So I'm just not good enough for you now. Oh, you want me to get up? Your friend is hotter. <laughs> what do you mean we're men to objectify? I'm tired of these these men complaining. Where did those other men go? 
I thought Mr. K would be back by now. I they were getting changed. He probably flaked on us. <gasps> Most guys do. How Typical men. They? Oh, I just feel so good now. I feel so alive. Yeah, throw that cash hard at Hit him. I'm surprised Eli was only up there for no. like a second. I thought no. he would have been up there for a lot longer. Who's calling you? Anyone else? You're Is that your boss? Elixir, thanks for the three months. Much appreciated. Wait, Hope you enjoy those beautiful you know goblin and people. max emotes. As always. Yeah. Dog. Appreciate the support. Listen, if we're going to be seeing each other, I'm going to need you to delete your Instagram and your Facebook and your Twitter and all your social media. You're not allowed to talk to other guys. And I'm also going to need the password to your phone. Damn, I was looking forward to a show from Mr. K. They're just taking it now. Oh, my God. As they should. Listen, I think you should be a little bit more homely, you know? You're not taking care of the house enough. You gotta cook and clean more, babe. I'm hungry. Make me something. The dishes aren't gonna do themselves, man. Would it hurt you guys to smile a bit? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to play games with my friends right now, and I'm hungry. Where's my food? I don't care how tired you are after working all day. The house is your responsibility. Clean it up. Yeah, hopefully Eli is able to get I'll some decent data from engine. tonight. Because I, I want to know how much the jewelry runs actually do day. get you. It feels like locals yelling at the moment. Her? How about I just delete my whole Instagram? I'll just delete it. You expect me to take care of the kids after eight hours of work? Really? <laughs> yeah, it is the disjointed that... yelling. I, th I think that's what makes it very NBC like. Let me drink my beer and shut up. Oh, okay. Let me go see if they're backstage or anything. Yeah, good idea. Which Dan is that? hell you mean asshole are you a second generation dan or a third generation dan let me see if they went to the clothing store i'm, I'm first generation your first gen oh sorry my apologies yeah you should apologize and you should respect my authority i am a judge oh right my, my, my apologies not a simpleton you like some of my other brothers well, I can't mingle then. Is he still alive or is he dead? I don't know, man. Ew. Come, mingle then. No idea. Hopefully dead. Who's Ramadan, by the way? I saw that in the... Why are you looking over there? In the, in the thing uh, the other I don't day. Know. I got no fucking idea me? who that is. Those are third generation Dan's. They probably don't even know who Fingal Dan is. There's a good chance. We were getting clones of clones right now. In like three generations, we might Fingal have to Dan. Fangle's balls. We might need to, yeah. There's too many. Too many, they don't even know what they stand for. Exactly. They don't even know who Fingal is. Or Peachinkle, the main character. Well, she's Rest fucking peace. dead. Yeah, she, she deserves to be dead because she tried to take my main character position away from me. Ooh. Wait, which dad are you again? I'm Dingle, asshole. Oh, Dingle. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, you're first generation. I don't think our other strippers are coming. Ah, but you know about the zero generation. They've let us down. Single blam, little man. Of course, man. Sam Ingledan. 
Those are the OGs. It's like it's Thursday with throwback. Throwback Thursday. The you can do better than I am. The Dan Lore is rich. When's our month? Too many Dans. We need to exterminate them. Yes, man. Want to go and sell some more guns? Yeah, let's go sell some guns. <laughs> sure, you go. Is that? All right. Well, yeah. thanks. Thanks for uh, thanks for the therapy, sugar tits. Uh, <laughs> don't, don't spend this all on fucking uh, birth control. It's not like you're gonna need it or anything. No, thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. you Thanks for letting more. us yell at you. Uh, Love your anytime. allies. Anytime. Hi. Oh, that was definitely something. Now we are entering the third generation of Dan's right now. People are making Dan's without even knowing who Fingal are. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, jeez. Oh, What's going on Apologies. in here? Thank you. Holy oh. shit. You guys having a party? Uh, it just ended, yes. They don't even know who Fingal is anymore. Let's see. So let's do our rounds of phone calls. We need to see if Kitty's around, Gigi's around, who else is around. We need to let everyone know about the Timothy situation. Let's see. Let's see. Let me go get parked up somewhere real quick. Dan's be considered locals. Maybe someday. Let's see. Do do do. Line busy. Okay. Let's try GG. Okay, no GG. Uh, who else? Who else? Doubt April's around yet. May as well try. Try April, try Ray. No April, let's try Ray. Just need to update everyone in the house about it, ideally. Yeah, I know it's probably a bit too early for them. I'm just checking just in case. Kitty. Okay, so just need to... I think Kitty's the only one that's around right now. I don't know if it's worth maybe mentioning it in the email chain. The thing is, it's not like an immediate issue because like that person probably doesn't know where Timothy lives. It's just... finding out. Yeah, I know Kitty's awake because the phone was disconnecting. Just eating that, let's see. I think we should keep it in the house. The less people that know about this, the better. Hi, Max. Hey, Kitty. How you doing? Oh, you know, told me just move stuff out of the house just in case. Oh, did he tell you about the key situation? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Timothy's pretty bummed about that. It's... Not worth us changing the locks, I don't think. Yeah. It sucks. I don't think his contact lenses ran either. Huh? No, I don't think so. Well, so I, nice. yeah, it's, it's going to cost us 40k to like change all of it. I, I, I honestly think just keep stuff in there for now. Keep it? You think so? Yeah, I, I don't think it's too much of a risk because even if they do try and get in, the alarm should go off. 
Because okay. I, I think the way that it works, that if someone opens up the door without being on the system, the alarm goes off. And at the end of the day, you know, it's just $7,000 versus $40,000 to replace all the keys. True. So I don't think it'd be too much of an issue. Not to mention the fact they probably don't know that room's there. But yeah, no, it is a cheesy situation that hopefully gets solved soon. Okay. But I think we try and... Uh, uh, the less people that know about it, the better, ideally. Because, uh... Yeah. Oh, my God, you scared the... Oh, my God. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. I was just inside the living room this time. It's not like I was in one of the other oh rooms. Oh my god. <laughs> no, it's because I was on the phone with my son earlier and he's like, you're never alone, mom. There's ghosts, there's people in the walls, there's spiders. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, yeah, with the conversation we're having as well about people coming in the house. Understandable. Oh god. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so as I was saying... <laughs> The less people that know about it, the better. That's why I didn't put it on the okay. bulletin board, just because I know we bring people in here. Because if word gets around that, you know, a key is missing, they, they might, like, people might find out that this is where he lives. Because th th there's a good chance they don't know where he lives right now. My worry is... Um... I know right now people are unable to rob homes, you know, because we have a great security system. Yeah. But will they hold on to that? Yeah. Until they figured out how to bypass the security system. Yeah, I guess that is the worry, how long they could keep it for. Mm -hmm. I mean, it seems to just be a random robbery, not targeted, so they probably don't know where he lives or what the key's for, like what house is for. Yeah. There's the right side to that. You know, there's lots of houses in the south side. They also took his ID as well. They, they like took everything but his phone, basically. That's so weird. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's just that senior buns. Is someone wearing a senior buns shirt? Apparently. I wonder if like they talk or if you can recognize them. Yeah, I don't know if they had a voice change or not. I didn't ask that much. Apparently, they had long shorts on. That 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 that's the main detail that he remembers. Yeah, we just got to be vigilant, you know, keep an eye out for you see any suspicious activity around here. Obviously, keep an eye out for the alarms. The, I've got it set so the police also get alerted too, so. Okay, nice. Right. So even if we're not around, the PD should still get alerted. Okay. And whilst it would suck to lose the GPU, it's, it's just not worth changing the locks right now. We don't have that much in the house. Just have faith, and we'll take turns checking the house. Yeah, we, we should be all right. Let's see, uh, see what comes of it. Just feel bad for Timothy. Me too. Hope he's all right. Yeah. Did, did he go to sleep? Yeah, he went to sleep earlier. Okay. All right, we're gonna move this uh, other stuff, at least so that if cops come, there's nothing illegal in the house. Oh, yeah. I, I'm working on getting some storage, by the way. I, I want to get some storage downstairs. Just got to research to see what's best. Okay. All right. All right. Catch you in a bit. See you. Yeah, the illegal stuff, yeah, is kind of iffy at the moment until we get it more disguised. Because obviously PD can't search storages in the house, but... You know, it's stuff on the ground, plain sight, wh whatever it's called. Now, we got no clue who robbed him, both in character and OOC. I don't think anyone knows right now. The thing is, there's a good chance the shirt they were wearing was, like... Y you know when you go into Senior Buns, you talk to the guy and you get the uniform? I think it was that. So, I mean, if Timothy can keep an eye out for those long shorts, then maybe? Because long shorts, that's, you know, pretty unique, you know? Not that generic. As far as I know, there's no angles of the robbery either. Just have to wait and see what comes of it. There's probably no clips or anything. If there are, I don't want to see it because, you know, meta and everything. It 
it'll get resolved in time. Whether Timothy finds the person or something. Eli is going to ask around, see, because, you know, there's usually set people that rob senior buns like BBMC. But I think that's too early for BBMC. It happened roughly about an hour before Storm. Literally just before I started stream, basically. All right, well, let's go do some hunting. I want to do this test for the grind box. So if I remember correctly, when it comes to the deer, all we're going to shoot is maybe five of them and we should be good. This is like purely for testing purposes. If we get robbed, we get robbed. But this is primarily for testing purposes right now. I want to see how those grind boxes work. I know the smaller one works, but I don't know about the larger ones. I also just wanted to have some blueprints to mess around with on the bench. Because I thought it would be kind of fun. Somewhere safe, just in case you get robbed also. Um, uh, I mean, technically we could, yeah. But it, then it just becomes such a hassle to get in your house. Like, if I want to go in the house, i got to go to the apartments and get it and then head over to the house. It becomes just such a pain. It basically becomes like meth labs were back in the day. They had to get a group of people every time you went to the house. I'd rather just deal with things as they come. If we get robbed, we get robbed. I'd say maybe if we lose like two or three keys, then maybe we should think about changing the locks. Because I guess the concern right now as well is like, what if they go clone that key? Like even if we do find the key, what if they've cloned it? Because that is a thing people can do. Any key you get, you can duplicate if you want. I guess I have to think about it. This is the difficulty when it comes to houses with multiple people with keys. It becomes such a pain when trying to change the locks. Like, say if it was just me in the house, you know, it would just be the change of lock, that's it. I wouldn't need anything extra. But with the amount of people that we have in the house, it's just so many keys. And each key is about $3,500. It's just so much. House robberies aren't allowed? I don't know the specifics with that, to be honest with you. Like, when it comes to robbing people's keys, robbing people's houses, I don't really know the specifics. Because theoretically, you could, like, lock someone out of their house. Actually, not really, because they could always get the lock pit set and just change it. But still, it is very much a pain. I guess we'll see what comes of it. If we get robbed, we get robbed. As long as there's something we can work on in RP, I'll be happy. But hopefully the alarms do work the way that I think they work. I've never tested it because I've seen no reason to, but I'm hoping it works the way I think it works. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Because otherwise, then what's the point of having the system, you know? Now, how do you differentiate someone robbing you, breaking into the house and just coming into the house? Yeah, you can't access anything on the inside without the panel. Like, you know, furniture, stuff like that. Yeah, I think he did report it, yeah, to the authorities. I guess the thing is, he doesn't know... How do you tell, like, if someone has a key, if it's their key or not? There's no way to really tell. Let me see if Jenny's free right now. I wonder if she'd be interested to do some hunting. Uh, 
Hello. Hey, Jenny. How you doing? Good. Good. How are you? Doing well. Doing well. Uh, are you busy at the moment? Not really. What's up? I was wondering if you want to chill. Yeah, I'm down. Any uh, I'm outside the tow yard I'm listening to the judges trying to sell, uh, sell a weapons license. Oh, they do. Yeah, they, they tried that on me at the VU too. Yeah, they, hey, they tried it on gun? me. Yeah. License. Yep. It is a funny bit. It's a good bit. They're running, they're running around all dressed up now, looking like uh, <laughs> actual, like, you know, gun sellers. Okay, that does all seem pretty up. fun. Yeah. All right. Um, I, think some, I think some guys are going to... I think some guys going to bribe them right now. You bribe them? Yeah. As in, like, trying to get a gun license? Yeah, while having a felony. Oh, right. I don't think that's going to end well. That's going to end terribly. Very much so. I'm over by the tow yard if you want to come over. Yeah, stop and by. All right, see you soon. All right, see you soon. Bye-bye. Let's go chill with Jenny for a bit. Then see if we maybe go do some hunting with her. It's been a while since the last hung out with Jenny. She's someone that Max used to hang out a lot with in 3.0, but hasn't really hung out much with in 4.0 just yet. Back when she was a police officer. Bunny Girl Bree, thanks for the tier one. Much appreciated. Hope you enjoy those beautiful Goblin and Max Motes, Bunny. Appreciate the support. But yeah, no, we very much just have to see how things go with this. I don't think we need to be that concerned. We don't exactly have that much in the house to begin with. Like, they can't take the furniture. Like, if they could steal the furniture, then yeah. But right now, the only thing they could really steal is whatever's on the ground and also whatever's in the um, GPU racks. They can't steal anything computer-wise. We've tested that. Because January couldn't access the computer whatsoever. So that's not something we need to worry too much about. It's just the GPU racks primarily. And who knows, maybe Timothy will get lucky and actually find the person. You know, maybe recognize the voice, recognize the look or something. Like, if it was a senior buns employee, like an actual senior buns employee, they'd be stupid to do that because they know where they work. I think it's probably someone disguised as a senior buns employee more so than anything else. I think it's a very good chance that's what happened there. Either way, we'll be able to get it sorted. It's all RP at the end of the day. Do feel bad for our boy Timothy, though, because he's going to have to purchase another key now. If he wants to. Plus, they took his ID and stuff, too, which is always worry. Because certainly someone could try and impersonate you. I've always thought that stealing IDs would be a cool idea if you ever want to, like, you know, not, not stolen identity, but say, like, you... Almost like a witness protection thing, but for criminals. Like, the thing that the, dude, the vacuum dude does in Breaking Bad. I've always thought a system like that would be kind of cool. Like, give them a new identity, put them up north as a disguise. Like, say if they've got a warrant they're running from, we could, like, take them up north, set them up with a house up there, like a safe house. Give them a new ID, new identity for a bit. Always thought that'd be kind of cool. But I think most people just like outrunning the cops more so than anything else. Where are we going? We're heading over to the tow yard right now. Gonna go chill with our friend Jenny. I need to actively call more people on Max, I think. A lot of the time, I just kind of end up on my own. I need to be more proactive with that. Dean and Lang did that for a bit. I mean, I think it's a cool idea. Like, I really wish... I know there's a way for PD to make state IDs. Like, fake state IDs for undercover work. I really wish criminals had access to a similar system, because that'd be so cool. Was all. Let me go get changed real quick out of my hunting outfit. I 
Yeah, I think I'm actually kind of set with Max in terms of money right now. I think I might just stick with the Glendale for a bit. I, I like the idea of having money on Max to use for, like, other things than buying a car. Like, you know, investing in projects, investing in other things. I want to call up Yuno at some point today and discuss with him about it. See if there's any way that I can invest in his project. Or at least help out with his projects in some way. It's more fun to use money for that. Because, I mean, we got a car. Like, the Glendale is still going strong for us. The only thing I might do is just change the color of it. Maybe to a blue, maybe to a gray. As much as I do like the yellow and the yellow is iconic to us, we do look like a taxi and we don't do taxi work anymore. Taxi era is over. We're in business mode now. And we need Tanya to reflect that. Let's see, where's Jenny? Uh, let's see. Selling prime real estate on Grove Street. Ooh. Is he moving? Parking lot. Oh, parking lot. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Hello Psst. there. Psst. Hey. Psst. I'm hey. Sorry, I'm sorry. You cool? Hey. I'm cool. cool. Yeah, you guys cool? Yeah, yeah we're cool. cool. Yeah, you cool? Yeah, you guys cool. want to buy a gun? License? No, I'm a fucking judge. No, you can't sell them. Wait, how much? How much? How much? Where'd you get that gun license to sell, huh? I don't have yeah, a gun license. We're sliding to sell. you things illegally. I haven't been slid anything. Did someone I... slide you a license? Who the hell knowing? did it? I can't say. Oh, you can't say. I can't say. I'm sorry. Let me have a look at the proof. I'll call the cops down right now and have you investigated, asshole. I don't have a gun license. I was just better joking. tell me what you know. I was kidding around. I was joshing about. Think it's funny to joke about stuff like that? It's serious. serious well, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I know it's very serious. Missing someone. You're missing someone. Someone over there. Target. 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 Right there on the bike. On the bike car. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> You blow, you cool? blowing off some steam. You're cool. I'm cool now, right? Those that know, these are two judges trying Sorry. to sell people gun licenses cool. right now, but they're doing it under cool the guise of the actual gun dealers. Well, you could be. You want to buy a gun? License. Hey, you want to buy a gun license? Honestly, personally, I don't see the value in a gun license at the mean? moment. Yeah, I think getting a gun, a gun license, license just makes you a target for the most part. Has this bit yeah, worked on anyone yet? Yeah, what the hell? A single person. <laughs> yeah, I don't think many people are interested in gun licenses. Well, you should have told us you were poor before we came up to you. <gasps> Ooh. Can you hold well, we gotta keep it on the down low. Yeah, Make sure you're cool. You know, you yeah. don't want to be wearing a wire. Well, no, I'm not gonna chrome out time now. I'm thinking like either a gray or a blue would no, no, look good. Bad. Not even a little bit. Because we don't want to attract the wrong crowd. That's right, dude. You never know. I've saved the hex code just in case I want to change back. Well, listen, I'll, dog, I'll listen. You get a license for 25 license. grand, and then you can buy as many guns as you want for only 10 grand. It's fucking Yeah, good. you could, like, stockpile that shit. Yeah, you could stockpile it, and then I'll sign off on the raid warrant when the police find out. I was, I was gonna say, that sounds probably illegal. 
Oh, it's oh, yeah, super illegal. Definitely illegal, yeah. I think that pitch right, is pretty good. And I won't do that. Good. But gun licenses aren't illegal. So you should They're buy super one. super illegal. You need one. You need a license. And you responsibly you buy your guns at, at one at a time. Of course. Not in bulk. Who would, buy, who would buy in bulk? That, that's just silly. Wouldn't it be better to do it G6? I feel like G6 workers need licenses. licenses more so than I would else. never. I've learned my lesson. I said they'd probably no, put it to better it. use or need the, the guns more gun with how often they get robbed. We're trying to afford our own, man. It's that's tough it's business. It's a hard world out there. Streets is cold and that shit ain't sweet, man. But you already know the story. I do? Yeah, you said you were cool. So you clearly know the story. Oh, so I mean by the weasel news vans, by the way. Well, people just drive them like regular if cars. I'll tell me. you about it, son. They're the reason the taxi business died. Get lost before I call the cops. I didn't even do nothing illegal. Get lost, kid. Yeah, get the heck out of here, Bozo. Well, well if, if I'm gonna get lost, I'm, I'm gonna have to move my car from here in front of it. Get lost, kid. Fine. I'll buy my gun license from someone else when I'm not poor. Yeah, I'm gonna try calling some people from the yellow pages. Yeah, we should, I was just thinking. We it doesn't seem to be working, then, does it? Pages. Nope. Sorry, the lemon Good bit, list. Though. The lemon list. Yeah, we should call people from the lemon list. Yeah, because you know, love yellow. People and tell them to come to a certain spot and then pitch it to them in person. Uh, hey, hey, Rama, you cool? Hey, listen, I. What you did? What What are you doing right now, Rami? Oh, uh, hey, I was just wondering, you cool? You cool? I got some shit to sell you if you want, if you want it. You want to buy a gun? License? You wanna, you wanna buy a gun I'd license? slash the tires if I could. Oh, oh okay. Uh, uh, okay. At least it didn't repaint right, okay, it. Some bet. people repaint their Wiz and Lose buttons. You didn't want to buy it. What the fuck? Damn. Have you guys had any luck yet? Not, Not even a little bit. Damn. I sold three oh. licenses today. How come you guys I'm, don't have luck? I'm going to check on the random number on the lemon list. Have you tried oh. a G6? Oh, someone named one. Hey, yeah, they're, not, they're not felons. But hey. Oh, hey, Angel. They also hey, do work cool? at nighttime, too. Are you cool, dog? You can work G6 at night. Well, as long as you don't clock out. I'm trying to move some products. I don't oh, think they're supposed cash. to be working at night, but they do. Yeah. You got it? 25 G's. 25 Raccaronis for a G license. You feel me? I'm surprised Yuna doesn't have a gun I... license yet. I guess he, he does know that at some point he's going to go down the criminal okay. route. Well, so okay. no point in really investing in it. I'm, I'm hanging up. Because we just missed some customers. What'd they say? Damn. Sherry didn't want to buy a license. You missed the customers. We should go to the group six spot. Yeah, let's do it. They kind of have felonies. Do you need a ride? We we have a car now. We gotta walk. Oh, okay. <laughs> Specifically going to walk? We gotta stay on the oh. road. <laughs> do you want a ride? No. We should just like slowly follow them. We'll slow roll them. Where did Sherry go? I don't know. She was here a second ago. She's behind them. Oh, is she following? Yeah. Let's so, slow roll with them. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Oh, it's just you. Guys. Hey, just you want us. a gun? What up? License? You try to sell a judge a gun? Are you dumb? Uh, I'm wanting judges. Well, you're also a dad. What's that supposed to mean? Well, you have to. let him talk to you like that. I know the Dan's very well. They would not refuse a gun if we give him one. Say that again, sorry? Yeah, we'll present it. I'm presenting anything to you. Have present present the gun. Yeah. I'm presenting anything. Yeah, it's awake. Present it. Oh, Maybe for what? Fingal, you but you know, he, he's first generation Dan. 
I'm the brother cousin. Actually, yeah, you were first generation. Oh, we're driving to group six. Hey. Oh, we're, yeah. The car. We're to the train yard. Jenny. How are, what's up? Are you leaving? No, no, we're still We're just trailing. Okay. What did you say, Marnie? Sorry? I think that's a uh, dingle, Dan. I think there's more jewelry if you want to take some. Yeah, but he, he hasn't got a big stuff. We, we get one like once a month, so it won't be a big deal if you take a couple more. Where would they end up? Where they're going? Yeah. He's a judge, Dan, is what he is. I'm surprised his name is... Actually, okay, no, there I'm, is already a Judge Ingle, Dan. I was going to say I'm surprised there isn't a Judge, okay, but no, that well, is I'm already a Dan. I'm hanging out with Max if you get super bored. You're welcome to join us. Hey, let me know, okay? Hey, play. How have you been, by the way? I feel like it's been forever since we've last hung out. Oh, nothing's changed. Literally nothing. Everything's still the same? Well, slightly different. Oh, I right. run I run my group now. Oh, congrats. I have a name. What's the name? Or is it secret? No, we're called TBD. Oh, got you. Kind of like yeah. the not HOA. Yeah, we're called TBD. Um, TBD. It, it is uh, either we determined or terrorist being dramatic. You know, that works. Yeah, but uh, a lot of people just call us the Simone group. The Simone group. That's what they do. Even though I'm in charge. The cesspurve following this. In a cesspurve. Really? I'm not a cesspurve. Just listen to the way he talks. You can hear it in his voice. I'm British. You can. Oh. That does not help you by saying, I'm never okay, going out be, with you. saying British. And then saying you're, you're a perv that doesn't help your case. What if they said I sound like a perv? I mean, it's because I'm British does not help your case. I'm not a cess perv. It's just what Finkel used to say. You know what they say? If it walks and talks. What? It's a chicken. Must be a cess perv. Must be a cess perv. I don't think that's ever been a saying. Why did it just come out of my mouth directed at you? He has a point. I don't think he does. He has a point. You just sounded a little self-conscious right now. Wow. There's no one here. The Dan law is very vast. There's still some G6 workers that work at night. I'm a G6. Wow. If they don't clock out, they can still yeah. do the work. No, I'm just hanging out with people. So what if we just like hung out here? I was hiding here earlier. Yeah, what's up? I was hiding in this hallway. The Dan Law goes back to before Chief Fingal was even on no pixel. It goes all the way back to our old server, Twitch RP. Which me and Chief used to be on. Nobody knows. It is very vast. Kind of concerning. Oh. I'm not a says perv. You guys just gonna hide in the hallway? You need to hide by that guy there, because that's where they get clocked in. Ooh. Like maybe behind the pillars? You gotta be like, like slightly across the. Oh. Hey. See, I told you. Hey. <laughs> I still think they're not supposed to be working at night. I'm surprised the devs haven't fixed that yet. I think the d it's meant to be design wise that they're meant to get clocked out. I'm sure that'll probably get fixed at some point. 
I was good to know Carnage sells crowbars. I, I need, if I'm going to get into the whole idea that we're talking about, I'll need crowbars. I, I also want to get a crowbar for Ray as well. Because I know she wants a hammer and I just can't get a hammer right now. Hey, didn't you used to do G6? Yeah, but I... Uh, I Oh, you sold it? I guess you are a you criminal see? now. Well, I'm not. I've never, I don't have a felony or being caught for anything. But you see, what happened is, is that I was a tier three G6er with the highest rank you could get. And I had a special badge and everything. And, uh, and then I moved in with the deputy mayor. Um, we share a storage room together. Dolly, I'm over here. And what hey, happened is, is that he became the deputy mayor and what he did was he decided to vote yes on a piece of legislation that said when you get a felony, you lose your G6 job while actively trying to make me get a felony. Ah. I was like, okay, so now I'm dicked because, you know, because of that. So I'm going to go sell my G6 pad. And he was like, hang on a minute. Why are you selling your G6 pad? And I was like, because I can't get a felony if, I, I, if I'm doing G6 with you. And he was like, but I gave you money for that G6 pad. And I was like, and we live in the same house. You know where I live. It's not like I'm going to be using the money for anything that you're not part of. And that's when he was like, yeah, okay. Yeah, better to sell it before you get the felony if you think you're going to get one. Because then you won't be able to sell it afterwards. Oh, I just haven't been court yet, unfortunately. Hey, look at that. Hey, Dahlia. Hi, I think they want to kill me because I prevented them from stealing a turbo. Oh, yeah, that sounds about right. Yep. Oh. Damn, all the G6s are flooding in now. Back there ever again. Yeah, you probably should have not done your job. Yeah. I, I had a... Look, I've been away for a week. I had a lapse of judgment. Ooh. Oh, is that in Mosley's? Uh, yeah. I said, yeah, I was just going to make sure your turbo was still there. And then they stole another turbo in front of me. And I said, yeah, I'm leaving. Yeah, that's a... Uh... Yeah. I might have and, to then check. They, and then they proceeded to try to get me an ICU for over an hour. <laughs> okay. <gasps> Three yeah, that's rough. Disguises. Three. I heard three, three different, three different. Uh, Honestly, it seems like the biggest criminal activity that you can do right now is rob other people. That seems to be what most uh, people do. I feel like more people do that than like uh, roof Lee running and stuff like that. Million. Apparently, no one does car shopping anymore. Sure, like absolutely no one does it. I should probably go get you in a disguise. Mm -hmm. that is true. I have Hopefully more criminal this. activities open up soon. Oh, but it was your hair that color? Yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty unique hairstyle. Or well, hair color, I should say. Yeah. Yeah, you might want to, you know. I, uh, I told one of the mechanics called me and said that the owner was there to... Uh, Talk to me, and I said, "Okay, just get your parts from the owner. Tell them they're cheaper, and they're at old price." So I think I made them even more mad. Yeah, I remember, it doesn't seem fun being a mechanic. No, nah, I don't. I don't really do it anymore. I just went to sell cars, <laughs> and then got questioned. Uh, I got stuck there, which usually happens to me. Just one thing after another. Yeah, I think we need to go get you changed into a disguise in which you don't look like you. Okay. Do you think it's still well, actively after good you? Good news is I, uh, yep. I 911'd uh, multiple times and then included the charges that they should get in my 911 calls. <laughs> you did their job? It's no. Well, because they left. Yeah, no, I believe. They, they left. And I said, you know, they're still disturbing the hospital publicly. 
I doing a public disturbance. Or disturbing the peas. I don't remember which one's in the penal code now. Yeah, I really do hope more criminal activities open up soon. Welcome to my life, Max. Seems fun. Also, I'm bringing your brother because he's panicking about it. Oh, yeah, sorry. So you're getting hunted down just because you didn't give over a turbo? I'm with Dahlia at the moment. We're in the city. But they did. The, the thing is, I didn't prevent them from doing anything. Um, she's she's had no. to deal with some stuff, so she's been a bit busy, but she, I'm with her now. Okay, so I gotta make myself a to-do list because I keep getting distracted. So to-do list right now, we need research. We need to do research today. We need fur, we need rubber. We need potentially change the color of, of Tanya. That'd be something good to do. Get a new style for Tanya. Though I do have the hex code saved, right? Hex, let me have a look. I'm pretty sure I've got it saved. Somewhere. God, my notes are a mess. Uh, there's my ICU contacts. I'm pretty sure I saved it here somewhere. Maybe I'll save it again just to be safe. Are we taxi? Hmm. Yellow. Let me see. So I've got digital notes where I usually keep stuff I copy and paste, like, you know, the signs put around town. I've got a whole document dedicated to that. I'm fairly certain I saved it there. I just can't remember where in that document because it is very much all over the place. Uh huh. Like I've got stuff that's in this document from all the way back in the robot retail days. Which is like years ago at this point. Don't know why I keep it. I know I'm never going to use it again. Or, well, you know, stuff from the liquid library, which I'm pretty sure I'll never use again. A lot of stuff I just keep for like template reason, reasons, I think. Like, you know, if in the future I want to make another sign, I can just, like, copy and paste it and just change it a little bit. I think that's why I keep it. I've got no clue where I save this now. It's got all the drinks from the Liquid Library in here, too. Got so much. Oh, there we go, Tanya. Tanya. Okay. Every graphic designer ever. I mean, it's just handy to have because you never know if you might use it. You might need it for something. I've also got the restocking bio right underneath as well. Because again, you never know when that might come in handy. But no, this document is like huge at this point. Got so many little details in there. Stuff from like when I was the mayor and I had to like send messages to people. I've got like templates for that where I just changed the name. God, I've got so many. I think I've even got some like copy and paste. Like I, I usually, I sometimes use it for like, you know, jotting down like things I'm typing as well. Yeah, you can change the color to anything. It's, it's a lot better than what it used to be. The 4.0 customization system for cars is so much better than 3.0. Because before you could only use set colors. Now you can choose any color, like any hex code. Make your car look even more unique. So I'm thinking is, I'll probably keep the secondary black, like, you know, the roof black. But either change the, like, main color to gray or main color to like royal blue or just blue or something actually hold on i've got a reference for this the reason why i'm saying gray is because at one point there was this car parked outside the girl's house 
And I thought that it looked really good. Like, you know, that sort of grey is what I'm thinking. But it was just a random local car that was parked outside the girls' house I saw one day. I think it looks pretty decent, to be honest. I think that would suit Max, too. Suit business sort of vibe. Maybe that with, like, a black stripe down the middle like we have right now. Okay. All right. Hey, I'm kitty. Hey, is there a fine if people break the rules in the house? Uh, I don't think we ever established the rules. All right. Okay. We never okay. had that meeting. Did, did, did Eli tell you? What did he tell? Yeah. About what? He brought home someone. They had and then the house was smelling musky, smelling musky afterwards. Wait, who does he bring home? Somebody named V. Huh, okay. I mean, we could charge him. I, I wouldn't be opposed. Okay. All right. I just, uh, he was just at the hospital. He was, he got shot. Oh, oh God. Okay. Is he okay? Yeah. Yeah, he's okay. I switched his wounds and stuff like that. Okay, that's good. He's in a stripper outfit, just in boxers, uh, leopard boxers and a pineapple head because he said that Carmela needed a stripper. Yeah, that there's this whole thing going on at the VU. It's kind of funny. Right now? There's something going on? No, it happened earlier. Okay. Basically, it was hosted by All Carmella, right. and it was um, men on stage, women in the crowd, and just sh shouting things at them. Good things or bad things? You know, things like, you know, why don't you smile more, you know? You should, you know, if we're dating, you should delete your socials, stuff like that. Oh. Yeah. They were just having some fun. It was therapy for them. Okay. That's good. Therapy's and, good. Yeah, he has a pineapple head because he wants Carmella to crush his head like a watermelon, but he couldn't find a watermelon. Okay. Yeah. But he was just talking about some Officer Leo something that he wants to go on a date with. He's very down bad in like every ass essence of the word, both financially and love wise. He's very down bad. Oh, okay, Max. I think I know what to do. All right. We'll 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 set some proper rules at some point. Okay. All righty. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, it's you now. Yeah. Oh. Hazel is a fucking rookie. Hello? Hey, Max. It's Mike. Oh, hey, Mike. Hey, uh, Nico, Nico wanted you to call him. So, uh, what, what but having, I don't know, but him calling you seemed like a lot of work. So he had me call you instead and let you know to call him. But why didn't he just call me? I just broke my leg. Oops, sorry to hear that. Uh, why? I don't know. So he gave me your number and said to call you. Okay, I I'll call him in a bit then. In a bit or like soon? Well, does, does he need me to call him urgently? Yeah, I think so. Uh, okay, I'll, Nico, I'll... is it urgent? Okay, hold on a second. Nico! Nico, is it urgent? Oh, he said, he said nothing's urgent, but something about an interview. Interview it's for a, a casino. Oh, right, yes. We're, we're still sorting that out at the moment. Uh, I'll, I'll let him know when, when we're doing it. Okay, sounds good. Okay, I hope you have a lovely day, Max. You as well. Bye. Bye. -bye. You interested in buying? Yeah, you you interested in what we're selling? They're selling the good stuff. You you you're cool, right? Yeah, you're cool, right? You on the I think he's cool. You cool? Yeah. Trying to get yeah, a, D license, it, a D license? Uh. A license dog? I think I think my, I don't have a felony anymore. Can you Perfect. A D license dog? I'll set you up. Uh, I am low on funds, though, so I can't oh, get it right now. Shit. Yeah, I'm low too, on emotional too, support they're... after today. Yeah, me too. I'm gonna cry probably. Okay. I think. Imagine any money we do fine wise will just go straight back to the house. You too cool? Most likely. Am, am I cool? You think yeah, I'm you cool? cool? You cool? I mean, I'm kind of hoping cool. Yeah. That's cool. You guys want to buy a D? Is that Sid? 
Yeah, he's looking for that little, you know, that. Yeah, I, I prevent to buy a gun. taking a turbo. Okay. Which I, I like this. Can we get a gun license? We know Yuno's around now. I'll give him a call. What's your name? I actually, I'm looking for a gun. Don't listen to her, because I am. Perfect. Let me just tune around and listen to you, man. Hey, hey Yuno. How you doing? I'm pretty good. Just making some money, driving my car around. What you up to? Uh, not too much, not too much. Just kind of chilling at the Heard moment. Heard the bad news for Timothy. Be careful out there. Yeah, uh, yeah, we're trying to sort that at the moment. Just making sure everyone knows uh, yeah. to be vigilant. I don't think they mm -hmm. would be able to get in the house without the alarm going off, though. Yeah, for sure. But I wanted to call you about the thing we were talking about the other day. The thing? The fixer Which thing. Was... The fixer thing? The fixer thing. Remember you were telling me about you were getting people for yeah. jobs and stuff? You wanted me to like... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you were right. Right, yeah. yeah. What about it? You do got you a need, recommendation? Uh, no recommendation, but do you need any help with it? There's definitely a few things I need help with, but uh, I mostly got it. I think the best you could do is help me gather up people when the time is right. Gather up people, you okay. I mean? well, the thing is, most of the people that I would gather are the same people that you're probably already gathering already. Yeah, yeah, but like I want to keep it a surprise, if you know what I mean. Got you. Okay. Like everyone thinks it's going to be me, but it's not going to be me. So, okay. Exactly. So, I'm I'm trying to keep that part a surprise. Um you don't don't tell anyone. Oh, yeah, but no, no, uh I mean, I'm telling you cuz you're not going to be on the job cuz I don't want you to get a felony, you know. Yeah. But uh You know, if you get a felony, I, I believe you can't own a business. You something. can't. No. I mean, yeah, I so, don't own any business at the moment uh, anyway. Well, you're the CEO of the Gazino, right, or something? Don't own it, though. When it, it wouldn't be bad? I mean, I feel like it could be bad. Uh, well, I mean, by legislation, it's only the owner that needs to be clean. I, I mean, I, I'm not looking to get oh, a felon anyway. Interesting. Oh, yeah, for sure. Anyway. Yeah. I, I was just wondering if yeah, you need so any help like, with the planning side of things. Up, or That'd be good. Just gathering people. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. All right, Other than that, I think we, I pretty much got everything. Like, I could go as soon as today, but um, I think Koji has trouble get uh, Kenji, Kenji has trouble getting in the city. Yeah, I think he does. Yeah, and Timothy said he's probably going to be busy today, so, you know. Mm. But sometime soon, then. Yeah, yeah, sometime soon. Probably this week, for sure. I mean, definitely this week. All righty. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'll see you soon. Take all your good stuff out of the house just in case. I mean, I know, uh, uh, I, I'm not doing. I, I, I don't think it's. I, we shouldn't worry about it that way. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. But you never know. You never know. Is yeah. I'd say. Well, I don't want to change locks. There's forty thousand dollars to get. Oh, all the I new wouldn't. Keys. I wouldn't change locks. I would just make sure there's nothing good to steal there. Yeah. Wait, I do. Why can't we you have guys? Like open? One GPU. That's it. Wait, you have one GPU? Yeah, that's it. That, that's the only thing that get robbed. It? No, you can't have it. Why not? It's kitties. You asked if I could. You'd, you'd have Wait, to you ask Kitty. You can't see inside that. of it. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask Kitty. All right. Well, I'll. Uh, um, yeah. If there is anything I can help with, do let me know. Oh. Okay. All right. All right. Well. Uh. Yeah. I think I should be mostly fine, but I'll tell you what. Like, we just gotta get a day where all the people are awake. You know. Just get it started. Should be good. Yeah, yeah. So, like, it'd be best if you could, like, you know, gather them all up in one spot, you know? Because otherwise I'm going to be calling, like, several different people and trying to get them all in, like, rounded up, which is harder. Yeah, right. It's like wrangling cats sometimes. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So I think that'll be the most difficult part. Everything else, I think uh, I can handle it. But there might be one thing you could help me with. But I'll see if I need it. I'll call you uh, if I do. All right. He sounds good. Yeah, yeah. You up to anything today? Uh, nothing in particular. No, I'm just kind of a. Uh, I'm trying to get the house more organized right now, and I'm okay, do good. in the testing phase. Like we keep people keep robbing things, but then just leaving it in the house and it goes bad. So I'm trying to get a good system for that. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. That's cons that means they just have a problem. They just rob for the. You know, I was talking they to don't Eli. Make the right? Money. We did a jewelry run. And Eli's like, man, these jewelry runs are fun. How do you get jewelry? And I'm like, Eli, you've done <laughs> roof running. You've stolen G6 pa like 
what do you mean, how do you get jewelry? How do you turn your stuff into money? And he's like, I just don't. I just steal it and leave. And I'm like, what? That's how what he's are you pulled. Saying? Yeah, so I guess he didn't know that you get jewelry from stealing stuff because he just straight up steals stuff and never makes money from it. Yeah, that explains all like the G6 pallets, the units around the house that keep going moldy and turning into trash. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's That's a what I'm trying to solve. It's a problem. You got to teach him how to actually make money from it. Well, the way um, that I'm going to do that you it. you do crime, but you know. Well, no, I, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell the stuff to the fence. I'm going to set to the fence, then I'm going to task one of them okay. to do the jewelry runs, then I'm going to clean the money, and then task one of them to do, go do the money well, run. That's a good idea. So I'm going to do yeah, all I got the, people that do logistics the same, actually. and everything. They just take the take a little cut from it, usually, and then... Hmm. Yeah, basically, I'll just yeah. do the more tedious part of it, and then I'll give them fun jobs they can go do. Yeah. Yeah. Just make sure you take a cut for yourself. It's hard work, man. Yeah, we'll see. I want to make sure everyone's getting paid. I'm going to get a spreadsheet made for it and everything. I just got to get the data. I need to know how much each uh, like car park gives you jewelry wise and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes those numbers change We're too. Be like, outside uh, of the stairs a sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, I'll yeah, see you yeah. soon, Max. I'm okay, going to finish up this job. All righty. I'll catch you in a bit. If you want to do some later, yeah, let I'll me let know. you know the, the day that uh, it's happening. If everyone's, it could even be today. Like, I got everything ready. I. Oh, perfect. So, uh, yeah, just need a day where, where, where everyone's awake. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, All right see you soon, good. Max. I catch you in a bit. Easy peasy. Yeah, the thing is, I, I'm not opposed to doing criminal things on Max. It's just I want to do more of the low key stuff. Like, people forget Max used to be the primary moonshiner in town. He's done illegal things. He, he used to have a room in the library that was filled with guns. I guess it's kind of a good thing, I guess, if people didn't know that. If you think about it. The fact that I was more low-key is probably better. Uh, so they said they're up the stairs, right? Okay, they're just chilling up there. I might go change the color on the car. I kind of wouldn't mind changing. Bring Tanya into the new age. And if I don't like it, like I said, I can always change it. It's only like, I think, $500 to change the color. It's really not too much. It's pretty inexpensive for the most part. What are we doing with Yuno? Yuno's doing like this whole heist thing at the moment. He's trying to like... He's trying to be a fixer is the way that I see it from Cyberpunk where he gives people jobs to go do. Which is something I've always wanted to do on Max. I, 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 that's the sort of role I've wanted on Max. It's just very difficult to do. But it seems like he knows what he's doing. So I want to try and support him if I can. Ideally. I have to see though. It seems like he's got his um, ha it all under wraps for now at the very least. Who so doesn't need our help? But who knows? Maybe the system that we're trying to get set up with the girls right now could be beneficial to him. Hmm. Isn't that the whole the whole uh, contractor thing works with the company? They basically, like, give people jobs to go do. Like, you know, maybe specific plans and stuff like that. I'd love to do stuff like that. That like, you give someone an idea of something to go do. Like, but they got to do it in a specific way. Like, you know, wear a certain costume, do a certain bit. I like that. I think that sort of role would suit Max perfectly. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, I guess for now, let's see. What should we do? I don't know if they're busy up there or not. Hmm. 
might get some chores. Would you guys be good from here? Let's see. Because they could be having a long talk up there. I don't just kind of wait around. I would like to upgrade our GPU system inside the house at some point too. Because then Ray can start making some more buttcoin. I don't really know what her plans for a buttcoin are right now. I really think that she should spend some of it to get the HQ app. Because I think that's kind of like where the criminal stuff starts from the computer is through the HQ app. But I don't really know the specifics about that. I just know the HQ app is a thing. Also, did... Did Kitty say that Eli got shot? What the hell has that boy been up to? Oh, let me let me, let me give him a ring. Oh, did he get shot by? If he got shot by PD, then he's probably in jail. I wouldn't be surprised if he maybe went to jail. This is Eli we're talking about anyway. Uh, are they still up there? Let's go. They might be there for a bit. Let's just head off for now. They can text us if they do need to pick up. Let's go see if we can get a nice color change done for the car. A dark gray and yellow? I don't know if... I think the yellow wouldn't look too good with it, to be honest. I think the yellow needs to be primary or nothing. If we had a red, then maybe like a yellow pearlescent would work. As it stands right now, I, I just think regular gray would look good. Let's have a look, see? I think if I was ever to donate Tanya to the girls' house, like for anyone to use, I'd probably make it olive green. Or like if, if I was going to hand Tanya over to Ray, I'd make it olive green. I should with April's car? Nah. Red's more April's color than Max's color. I think neutral colors kind of suit Max better. Morning. Morning, how are you doing? Doing good, doing good. Alright, let's see. Colors. Primary. Let's see. Do we just go normal, metal, chrome? Go. Like a lightish sort of gray? Or do we go more like dark gray? Hmm. Alternatively, I want to see what it looks like in a blue. That's more purple. It doesn't look bad in violet. More blue this way.
or bluish gray like this. You could also change like the color type as well, like metallic or opaque, metal, pearl. Doesn't seem to be matte anymore. Chrome, maybe not chrome. Hmm. This looks too purple to me. Maybe like this. Now let me try some of your guys' suggestions. Let's try what was that? That is five, seven, eight, four, C one. That light blue isn't bad. Hmm. Let's try 606 B7E. Hmm. Yeah, that's more of a bluish gray. I can't remember what the hex code for the first gray was anymore. Like, maybe something like that? That gray isn't bad. Hmm. I'm very indecisive when it comes to stuff like this. I still need to change primary type, just the color. Hmm. Let me try that one. That is four, five, four, C, five, eight. Is it? You gotta remember, if, if you're using like a color picker, you gotta remember like the light and everything is gonna be affecting it. Yeah, the lighting in this room definitely isn't the best. I, I wish I could just see what it looks like on the like outside, you know? Maybe something like this? Hmm. A little darker. Like down there? I guess the only sad thing about going for more neutral colors is the fact that it's going to look less distinct. That will be the only downside. I always like having cars that people can see and think, hey, that's Max's car. Ah, difficulty. But on the other hand, like, you know, the yellow is just like, doesn't feel very Max anymore. The horn is definitely still max. That is true. A bit lighter. Hmm. Well, let me try like, if we like go for like a gray here, then we just kind of go across. Hmm. That gray doesn't look too bad. And we could try changing the secondary. The thing is, Max's old color palette was black and white. So if we go like black primary, maybe. And then secondary, we turn to white like that. Oh God, the line changes with it too. I didn't realize that. I didn't realize the line in the middle changes with the secondary. Change like pearl, opaque. That's definitely a lot more unique. Minus the lines. Like the, the, the lines are a bit painful. Hold on. Let me go back to primary. Maybe like pure black is what we're looking for here. Hmm. 
What if we were to try it in reverse? So we have like white main, then black secondary. Hmm. Doesn't look bad. Let's see, what other secondaries could we choose? What is that like a gold maybe? If we're like gold and then primary black maybe? Maybe not like pure black, but like down there. I think it's the line. Maybe the line just doesn't work anymore. You guys like the black and gold? Maybe we try like pearlescent as well. We go for like a gold pearlescent. Like a, maybe not yellow. Actually maybe yellow. Like a light yellow pearlescent. Ooh. That does look kind of nice. Yeah, that yellow pearlescent actually looks, makes it look even more golden. Okay, I kind of like that. Do we get rid of the stripe down the middle, though, is the thing? Or do we keep that? This definitely does feel like more of an upgrade. Hold on, let's try... Go back to... Keep it? I guess it, it definitely makes it look more unique is the thing. And hold on, if we go to... Wheels? Can we get white walls? I don't know what it would be under is the thing. What about a white body? Well, black and gold is the colors of the casino is the thing. Low rider? Oh, I forgot. When, when you change the wheels, it makes the wheels really thick for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, I forgot that's what happens to the wheels. It, it, it makes them really thick. Let's see, it happens with all of them, which is a pain. Like, even like high end, see, look, they just become super thick. I don't know why they do that. It makes changing the wheel not really an option for me. Let's see, what else can we change? Is there a, can I change the grill? Front bumper, what can I change the front bumper? I can get rid of the license plate on the front bumper if I wanted to. Do I want to do that? Yeah, it looks super goofy. Let's see, how's that look? I kind of like the original to be honest. Let's see what else, skirts. And no skirts. Hood, roof, think we've already done that. Windows, already got a good tint for the windows. Roof and hood, I believe, are... Actually, what is roof? <laughs> well, Max is a dad, after all. Yeah, maybe nothing on the roof. That's like we're going to Disneyland trip sort of look. Is there any wheels that look good, maybe? Like any sports? They all are just dummy thick. Uh, any of them look good? Benny's, maybe? I don't know where the white walls are. I know there is some... Oh, there's the white walls. Why are they so thick? I 
I see, like, this would look good if they weren't so thick. They're so thick. Oh, maybe someone will do with the stances. Width, maybe? Oh. Maybe that's it. Okay, that, that's a bit better. Adds to the price, but you know. Don't redesign the Glendale too often. Then maybe we mess with the spacing a bit. Space so it goes a bit more in. Oh god, what's happening? That looks better, right? Zero point six nine. Hmm. Do you think the wheels are too much? Hmm. Think it adds more personality? How about we look through... Now that we've sorted out the spacing and the thickness, maybe we just look at the wheels again. Let's have a look. Let's head back to high end. Ooh. Let's see. We at least know where the white walls are now. Definitely some fancy ones here. I've also already forgotten where the white walls were. Uh, we'll have to call Eli back. Hmm. Let's try Tuna. Let's try the end. I kind of like the white walls, I won't lie. Where were the white walls again? Was that Benny's? Let's see. So what we got as options for this? Hmm. Maybe less shiny would be good. What do you guys think? Think this looks good? Let's see, the wheels look alright, right? Number 48, which one was 48? Yeah, not a big fan of that, to be honest. I think what we had before I liked. Was it 41? No, the 42 less shiny. I kind of like it. I, worst come to worst, we could always just go back to default afterwards. Yeah, th actually, can we... I think we might be able to change the color of the wheels. Hold on a minute. Can we change the color of the wheels? Wheels, smoke wheels. Oh, God, you can. Okay, that might... Is that a bit too much? I feel like that's maybe a bit too much, the color of the wheels. Matches the gold a bit better at the very least. Hmm. 
Yeah, I feel like that's maybe a bit too much now with the color of the wheels. I will just give this a go and then in black hole, let's see. Hmm. That isn't bad, actually. Maybe like a gray. It doesn't look bad. I think what irks me now is the fact that the middle part is silver. See, this is why I don't customize much. I'm always very indecisive. Yeah, we've got to see how this looks in the sun for sure. Yeah, maybe no wheel color. Actually, now comparing it to what it was before, it isn't actually that bad. Like comparing it to black without it, I kind of like the black better. It, it, it blends in better with the car. Unless oh, I back to the wheels. Let's see what the other style of the wheels look like with this. So we're in Benny's. Was it Benny's that we were in? Which one was the... I'm, I'm pretty sure it was Benny's. This is going further than what I thought it was. Boom. Yes, yeah, so that changes that. I kind of like that, actually. Uh, do I like it like that? No. Hmm. Is that better where it's like three colors or just this? I kind of like it like that. I, I think I like this. You know what? Let's give it a whirl. How much is that? That's going to be $4,000 to do this. Pimpin. Half of that is the wheels. Classy. Can you test it before paying? Unfortunately not, no. You know what? Let's do it. Perfect, got the mechanic receipt. Okay. Uh, I see his Lionel still here. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Let's see, uh, no, doesn't look like it. We'll just wait a minute then. I'll definitely miss yellow Tanya, but this is this feels like an upgrade. Because I'm kind of set on keeping Tanya for now. I think I'd rather save up my money and invest in other things rather than get another car. The cars aren't going anywhere at the end of the day. I'd rather free up my money to spend it on like little things like this rather than have to worry like, okay, I gotta have this amount in my account so I can buy this. Plus, we still got the horn, so it is still time, yeah. Something a lot more classy. I'm just hoping the gold looks good, because getting gold to match is a difficult thing. Gold is a pain of a color to work with. Tanya 2.0. CEO Tanya. Exactly. I kind of like the idea of taking Tanya along with us, to be honest. 
if it wasn't for Tanya, we wouldn't have the Gorals. Oh, man. I mean, there probably would be a chance, but Tanya's been an important part of Max's journey with the Gorals. You want to ride, Cornwood? Just got to wait for the employee to be free. They might be busy for a minute here. Uh, let me just do uh, my customization and I'll help you out. Ah, much appreciated. Uh, not at the moment, no. Gazania. I like that we went this route as well, because it feels like it's still going to be a car people can see and think, oh, that's Max. Which is, is what I want with all my vehicles. I don't want my vehicles to be generic. Worth getting a better turbo for it? It's got a 97 turbo in it right now. It's, it's got a pretty decent turbo. So I've got to be careful that it doesn't get robbed. Tanya, Taxi Tanya will still live on in our hearts. I don't think anyone's stolen the turbo yet. Thing is, I didn't even know until recently that I had a 97 in there. When I came in for the turbo, I just like, hey, I just asked, hey, could I have a turbo? And they gave me one. I didn't ask how much it was, because I, oh, you know what type it was. Because I didn't even know that was a thing. I didn't know there was turbo types. Yeah, if we don't like the look, we can always change it. But I think the only thing that might be changed is the wheels potentially, but we'll have to see how we feel with them. Money's easy to come by at the end of the day for the most part for stuff like this. Like, you know, that is one pack a run. That's it. Right, we had a song. Uh, I said explore. Okay. Yeah, well, once I get the customizations done, I'll give Eli a ring. Maximize his grime truck, yeah. I do packer runs with Timothy or Eli at night now. That is like the brightest I, color car I've ever seen. I don't like that. It's like the lime version without the lemon, you know? <laughs> yeah. It's just, it's like, yeah anyway. And uh, Lottie is by. I do late night runs with Lottie ever so often. Typically, I like doing the grime runs off stream for the most part. I just want to do them ever so often on stream. Yeah, Max and Timothy have been hanging out a lot lately. We've done maybe like four or five grime runs over the last couple days. Been some nice chats we've had. Definitely feels back to how it was before. Yeah, throat's feeling a lot better. Thank you. Still making sure I don't overdo it, of course, but you know, it's definitely feeling a lot better. Why do you have a ticket? I indeed I do. Oh, I can't handle that. Oh, hold on. Here we go. Thank you. Yeah, I said he was going to help, but I don't know where he went. He said he had to finish off his job quickly. Who said that? Lionel? Uh, Lionel, yes. He was working on that car there, but I don't know where he's gone. Oh... I think he has. Oh, the, uh, oh, yeah, that's yeah, probably what it was. Waking up. It's all good. Yeah, that that painting, you know, room. It's a head pop machine. Oh right. I guess why most people go for these side parts instead. Yeah. 
Yeah, I I, I already have stopped there a few times. <laughs> right. I see anything changing just yet. I wouldn't mind a quick body repair as well, if, if possible. Ah, uh, sure. Okay, let me help you with drink. There we go. Oh, oh, there goes. Yep, need a door. yep, definitely need a new <laughs> yeah. door too. Let me handle that. Um, make sure or try to park it in the apartments at least once. Yeah, I'll make sure to do that. Whatever you need to. Sometimes Ooh, things wheels. won't stick. Uh, but the apartments are too. Okay, you're all set. Perfect. Was there spacing with the wheels? Did I mess up the spacing? Uh, it should be there. Got you, okay. It might just be a park up situation. Might be. Alright. If not, we'll try again, but I, I did the space sets, yeah. Okay. Well, I appreciate the help. Okay. I'll um, be back in a minute. Have if a good the, one. <laughs> see how it is. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Let's see how she look in the sunlight. Look too bad in the sunlight. Definitely got that gold feel. It, the, the only thing that's a bit odd is the wheels right now. I'm hoping that'll fix if we park it. I could have sworn the wheels. It, it's the wheel thickness. Did that not apply? That's what's happening right now. The spaces are fine. It's the wheel thickness that didn't apply. Because, see, look, those are some thick wheels right now. Too thick. Okay, oh. Okay, they're fine for a second, but then they go back to how they were. Let's try that again. Maybe it's just wheel thickness is a... Just doesn't apply? I see it's fine, and then... Boom. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, they might be bugged. Ah, oh, it's a shame. Yeah, I, I, I kind of got to change it because it just looks too... I, I'm not sure if I like the look with the thick wheels. <laughs> Makes me look like a monster truck or a hot, hot Wheels. Less businessy, you know. Color-wise, though, I think it looks good. It's just the wheels the issue. So you don't you don't see spacers? It, it seems it's space. It's the wheel thickness. I think is the issue. Like, it, to me, are the like wheels are really on thick. The outside or yeah, they're really sticking out for me. I, I don't know if it's the same to you. Yeah, I see them like really out there. Yeah, they're not supposed to be that way. It, it's weird because when I park it, it it's fine, but then as soon as it's out of the park, it's thick again. So far, wheels have been so weird with bending that uh, I have no idea anymore. Yeah, I might just change back to how it was before. It's like lottery, basically. Yeah. All right. Let, let, let's see. Yeah, if that's the case, then width. You see, look, it's the width. The width just went back to how it was before. Yeah, I think it's something to do with the width, then. That's the issue. Hmm. I mean, we could try one more time. Hello. Uh, hmm. 
Yeah, I mean, it just seems to be glitched, to be honest. I think I might just go back to the original wheels. If it's glitched. The original wheels weren't bad. Hopefully I can go back to default. Actually, is there a way for me to go back to default? Shit, there might not actually be a way that I can... Uh, stock? Yes, yeah, stock. Stock doesn't look bad. Now, the issue is just that every wheel is thick for some reason. Pun, is it? That's the issue. This is with the color changed. I need to go pick up Lionel really quick. He, he got stranded. I'll be right back. That's all good. Okay. See, so is there other like... Yeah, stock. Yeah, every... For some reason, every rim is just thick. I don't know why. It's weird. Like, for some reason, on every single wheel type, it just really messes it up. Like, track is the same. Yeah, we just gotta go for stock, unfortunately, I think. Or oh, if I get rid of the whip. Yeah, I think we just go back to stock wheels, unfortunately. Those seem to be the ones that aren't glitched. Because this still looks good as the thing. Stock wheels still look good with it. Yeah, I'll probably just do that then. Go back to stock. I can't have, like, wheels sticking out of the car. It just looks too silly to me. Does not give CEO vibes. There we go. See, look, for some reason, they just glitched again right there. All right, we'll get that changed, then we'll call back Eli. Things, I don't know if that is a bug or... Well, that obviously, that is a bug. Could probably make a report about it just so it's known. It's fine, though. The white walls would be nice, but it's not like it looks bad without them, you know? You know, you know, you know. Let's call back Eli real quick. This is the case where we're just going to keep missing each other. <laughs> Who wants to bet that he's currently at the hospital? Yeah, probably the reason he wasn't able to answer before is because he was down, and the reason he can't answer right now is because he's down. <laughs> I think it's a pretty well-educated guess. See, I think this color would look really good with our CEO outfit. We've got to see what we look like next to this car with our CEO outfit. Definitely a nice upgrade. I was, I was kind of surprised the fact the stripe was tied to the primary color. I, I thought it would have been, well, you know, the secondary color. I thought it would just be like a black stripe down the middle. It's kind of cool that you can change that. Yeah. Honestly, that's not even meta. It's just a safe guess to do with Eli. Eli being down isn't meta. That's just expected. It's fine. I'm sure he's completely fine and definitely not about to go to jail. I'm definitely vibing with this. The gold looks really nice. Definitely feels like an upgrade to Tanya. And again, keeps the whole unique style, which I like. Keeps things classy.
What's the did Jenny ever get back to us? Is she still having that talk? Eh, fair enough. Yeah, by the looks of it, Marty's trying to move to the new location ASAP by the looks of it. And he's currently trying to sell the casino, I'm pretty sure. Well, the casino building, from what I'm gathering from Twitter. If need 500k loan, selling prime real estate on Grove Street. I think he agrees with me in the fact that we can't really do a grand opening at the location we have right now. The location we have right now is too small. We need to expand. Like, if you think back to the opening night we did on Saturday, there was a lot of people that couldn't play because they are just waiting for a spot on the table. And that was, like, only a select few people. Imagine once we actually are properly open. Getting that money is going to be a pain, though. I mean, I'm happy to put some money towards it, of course. But getting 500k, that's a lot of work. That's 100 packer runs. Which, you know, theoretically per storm, you can do maybe, what is it like? Six runs, I think? Do six. It'll be 100 divided by six. That'll be 16 storms worth of packer runs. And that's doing it like every single day. Yeah, for 12 people max for a city that's 250 people big is just too small. I'm um, to your tires. I try to change them, but they glitched. So we're changing them again. For some reason, all rims are thick if you try and change them. We are not down with the thickness, unfortunately. Not for the wheels, at the very least. Yeah, I think this is looking pretty clean. New day for Tanya. Yeah, the thick wheels just make it look more like a hot wheel or something. I've driven it to the parking lot and back, but it's the wheels. The, the wheels are just too distracting. I think me and Marcy are both in agreement that we want to go for Elgin 5. This one here. I think we're both in agreement that we want to go for this one. It's good space. Its location is prime. The building itself kind of looks like a casino. Like, this gives the casino vibe, in my opinion. And if we could get the thing up there changed to 404, that'd be ideal. Oh. Hey, okay, hey. I'm back. I'll try this again. Yeah, just go back no to, the, to the regular wheels. <laughs> I think that's just going to be easier. Oh. The, the rims just seem too difficult to work with. Okay, so we're just doing the wheels. Yeah, just the regular wheels. There we go. Uh, did they look good for you? Yep, look good to me. You park them again and, and they should stick. Ah, perfect. But if they don't, we'll see. I guess we'll see, I got, yeah. I got one other trick. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think just going back to stock is just going to be easier. This seems like there's too many issues mm -hmm. with custom right now. Too thick. You're right. You're right. Well, Yo, go ahead and park it. I will. I appreciate the help. Uh, do I owe you yeah. anything? Oh, my God. Oh, no, you're fine. Tank. Well, thank you for the help. Of course, no problem. You have a good one. You as well. Yeah, much better. I got you. There we go, looking good. New look for Tanya. Let's go park up to make sure this is all saved. I want to change outfits as well because I want to see what it looks like. Like with the uh, CEO outfit, like, like how it compares. Yeah, classy Tanya. Gazino Tanya. She improves as Max improves in the city. 
Tanya is going to see us throughout the entirety of 4.0. Oh, that icon? That just means seatbelt. Oh. There we go. Nice. Yep, the wheels look good. What I'm interested to see is what it's going to look like in the nighttime, too. Because right now it's very shiny just because, you know, we're out in the sun. Nighttime will be interesting. Let's see, though. Let's go get changed real quick and have a look. I think it suits a lot more of our outfits, too, the black and gold. Boom. Nice and classy, nice and classy. Let's go get changed real quick and have a look. Do do. Ba, 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 ba. Do do. Hopefully, no one's in here ready to rob us. C O Gazino. Let's see how it looks. Nice. Hey, hey. Hey, hey Max. Hey, What's up? How much money you got in your main account? Uh, 50k Keep right now. Mm. When I when I come back, I better see that 50k in my in my bank. You hear me? Yep. Okay, I'll think about it. Thank you, Max. Don't don't let me come back here, bro. Now from that money not in my account. All right, man. Oh, all yeah. righty. I love you, bro. All right. Have a good rest of your day. Can you Get blow back, me a kiss? Bro. Sir, what was that? Blow me a kiss. Mwah. What? I'm a train on his ass. <laughs> Actually, do I need to move anything from the trunk into the house? I can't remember if I move those AC units. Did I move them? I got a tire repair kit blueprint. Let's move that into the house. Why not? Got to move these trophies in at some point too. Actually, let me move those in now. Rather than them get stolen. Oh, oh. hey, Gigi. How are you? Doing well, doing well. Oh, did you hear the news about Timothy? No, what's going on with Timothy? Uh, he got robbed earlier and they took his key. Why? Why would they take his key? I don't know. They, they just took everything from his pockets, including his ID. Why? I don't you know. know. This is like the second time, especially specifically with Timothy, he's gotten robbed in that specific uh, order. I think it's just how things are in town right now. Everyone's robbing everyone. Well, that's fine. I mean, sure, but it doesn't make sense to take someone's key, though. Yeah, I don't know. Or like their ID. Yeah, it's just it's just a burger shot too. No burger shot. The senior buns. Huh. So it's just like a senior buns robbery, and he got included with it. It's weird. Okay. Yeah. So just be on the lookout if you see anyone suspicious around the house. Yeah, I mean, if I see someone, he the uh, got his ID taken as well. Yeah, ID as well. Okay. I mean, if I come across anyone, if they have his ID, I will be shot. Yeah. All right. Or I'll take care of it myself. Yeah, we're gonna I ideally get that key back. There's no point in changing the locks because that's gonna cost us forty thousand dollars, so I mean what they're gonna rob. Yeah, exactly, yeah. that too. They're not gonna be able to rob them. anything. <laughs> we don't really have anything in it for them to take, so yeah, they're exactly. not on the panel. So what 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 can they take? Nothing. That maybe one GPU. Exactly. That's it. <laughs> I guess so if it's worth it, I mean yeah. Plus, they wouldn't. I wouldn't even know how they would know where he lives, you know, because it's not on on record where we live. Whoever is not the owner of a, a property, so exactly. And it sounds more like a casual robbery rather than personal robbery. So yeah, we'll 
we'll see what the whoever took it will learn yeah even they're if, not gonna get anything from it so even if they do find the house i'm pretty sure if they try and unlock the door the alarm system will go off it's also true if someone's really not on the panel. no because we have allowed a lot of people to come in and out that's not on the panel the alarm doesn't but the key i don't know if the key makes a difference oh i see the key if someone has the actual key that's not on the panel the alarm goes off yeah that's what i'm thinking like if they unlock the door without mm. being on the system right right okay i will keep track of that all righty yeah but right. let's keep it under wraps as well just in case you, you know how news travels in the city just trying to keep it in the girls right now sure oh do you need me to move to park no no i don't need you ah, that's all Sorry. good all right, see you in a bit. catch you in a bit perfect okay so we just need to update april and ray now they're the last two that need to be updated about the timothy situation i really don't know if we're gonna be able to find the person that did it ever i don't know how we would find them have the key and try to unlock the door you get locked on it even if you do it oh okay interesting yeah i don't know how that works it's like i'm like I, i'm i'm fairly certain that's the reason how it works that that is how it works because then otherwise what's the point of having the panel you know H how would the alarm ever activate if that's the case you know i i personally have no worries with it it's worse for them robbing the place because one they're not going to rob anything and two it's going to alert us so we're going to be able to find out who did it and then you know of course act accordingly let's see eli is he still down <laughs> i'm gonna go check the hospital I think there's a pretty good chance that he's going to be at the hospital. <laughs> like, a pretty, pretty good chance. Or at least he'll be heading there soon. Just now, Mango. I thought it was about time that we gave a facelift to Tanya, because I'm pretty set on keeping Tanya as our main car for now. And then, you know, maybe upgrade sometime in the future when we got more money. Hey, GB Senpai. Thanks for two months. Much appreciated. Hope you enjoy those beautiful Goblin and Maximos, Chibi. Appreciate the support. What are they doing? What the fuck is going on? You know, you're Wait, at Marty. Can we, uh, we should test that. Mr. K time, well, yes. They, they don't know it's me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please, please, please. No. Please. 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 Why not? Oh. No, listen. I'll do it, but not for, not for, not for the long See, run, man. that goddamn cat boy. Give a fuck. I don't care. He just put some illegal you goods in my trunk. You already have your fucking Wait. dream car. Hey, like. You're chilling. Had a Why feeling I could look? find you here. Why do you not? So Wait, right now. I'm. Okay. I'm so confused. Out of that? Hold on. Let me uh put the okay. mask on. Okay. You don't. Yeah. yeah not nothing about you, including the car, looks anything like how it usually looks. Yep. I just got the car changed. <laughs> what? Yeah, you know, I thought it was about time I got away from the taxi look. Oh, I thought this was like a some sort of uh, you know, no. the lens through the pineapple was making it weird. No, 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 not at all. Just thought no. it was about time I got a change. This is awesome. Yeah, go for the casino it's like colors. Some sort of, like gold chrome. This is this is awesome. What the hell? Yeah. Jeez, how much does it cost? Uh, about four thousand dollars in total to get it all changed. I did try Jesus. and change the wheels, which put a lot into that, but for some reason they were just really thick, so I had to change to the old ones. 
Yeah, this looks awesome, man. You've, you're you moving up in the world. This is the life of a CEO now, Max. Exactly. The life of a damn CEO. The, the way that I see it is I'm going to... I don't want to buy a new vehicle at the moment, so I'm just going to keep this one for now. It oh, does me well for everything I need to do. Sense. Yeah, no, this, spend this, money this elsewhere. Did you um upgrade anything? Or is it like a, is it just like the same car, just like different colors and stuff? Just different colors. Or it has 97 turbo in it. Mm. Mm, I like this man. This is awesome. Yeah. This is awesome. So what have you been up to? Oh, uh, Kitty said uh, you got shot earlier. I got shot twice. Yeah, yeah. Was, what uh, happened? That was an interesting thing. Uh, jewelry runs, man. They're, uh, it's an interesting. Oh, thing. I can tell got you. All about you. This some other time, but uh, yeah, yeah. Give me the deets. Uh, it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing, man. It's really good though. You make good money from it, man. That's good. Why, yeah. Why are you both staring at me? Wait, why? Why? Is it the outfit? He, he was at the VU earlier. That's the outfit. Because look what you're wearing. Okay, well, we, do you want to go to a clothing? Can we go to a clothing shop? Can I get changed now? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. I, it's freezing out here, guys. My nipples are extremely pointy. Oh, Can we please okay. go to the clothing shop? Yeah, why are you here? still you wearing like that? Hey, you guys. How's it going? Hello. Hello. Why good, is how are you? Uh, oh, Carmella. I, I'm so good. Oh, How's good. it going? Thank you. Um, like, going good, going good. Hey, oh, you honey. Look little, you look a little uh, different from before. I got sunburnt. <gasps> oh, I mean, oh, I can. No. Yeah. The bold I plus got the. Sunburnt, and I'm conducting a social experiment face. to see how differently ugly people are treated. So far, it's going fucking you're not horrible. Ugly. I got ugly. You're not no. ugly. Oh, you got stuck. I mean, oh, no, you, no, you look great, Carmel. This is the greatest I've seen you really? look. Oh, yeah, you look amazing. Is that a kiki face or should you do that on purpose? Oh. 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 I mean, well, let's take the mask off. Right? Let me see what you fucking look what? like. Take the fucking oh, mask shit. off. Let's oh, see what you shit. fucking look like. No, I'm oh, ugly. Geez. No, I'm ugly too. She's beautiful. That's why I have a mask on. Ugly is not a bad thing. Why are you guys hitting on me? No, ugly, it is kind of a bad ugly. thing. Is it? Yeah, because like pretty privilege is really important in my day to day life. Oh. Yo, have you guys never met Carmella before? Um, hey. this, guys, this is my ex fiance Hi. right here. This is my ex fiance. Hi, I'm Carmella. What's your name? My name's V. Oh, nice. Really? Yeah, I think she needs a mask oh, wait, v, for me. That's why. Then. Say your full name. I don't say. You can't just say V. <laughs> oh, my name is V. JJ. <gasps> oh my God, that is so, so uh, kind. Uh, oh my God, are you French? <laughs> Yeah, how did you know? It just sounds very French. Oh my god, yeah. Hey, hey, v, please yeah, talk yeah. some French to us. Please talk some Wait, French. Do I still have face on Eli's v. stream? Masava. I put the mask on to try and prevent that. Oh, god. Is, that is that how you know? What? What? What's Eli? Are you like praying on my downfall or something? No, 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 no. I just wanted to. You just said you were French. I just wanted to. Uh, really? Just, okay. You were bilingual, you know? But well, now I know you are. <laughs> what you oh, are getting up put... to? How's your life going? Well, I need to go to the clothing store because I look ridiculous. Uh, clearly, you've been at. You need some goddamn sun cream because you are. Let me just cut. Wait, hang on. I'm just a little Ooh, red. You are scalding ah! hot. Oh, don't touch you, Eli. Oh, hey, come on, let me just. Oh, let me just. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh my God, come it here, hurts let me, so much. Stop it. Stop it. Let me boop Stop it, or I'm gonna kick you in the balls. Oh, ow! Don't make me do it. Oh God. I know you're always fucking one breath away from death. Oh wait. Who's phone? Hello. All right. Well. Watch and learn. I'm gonna go get me a new fiance. Wait, there's no way you're gonna get you. Okay, well, I wanna see oh, how this know. goes down. <laughs> uh, Max, you got Kiki face, by the way. Um, yeah, but... don't look. <laughs> Hold on, let me try this again. Put mask on. V, right through that door. Is that is better? Work out with me, man. Right there. Aw, that sucks. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Right through Never that door. Never surrender. Wait, she's not going back in. Oh, she's going back in there with you, no? Fucking kidding Ooh. me. Are you actually? Ooh. Uh, um, wait, what, what that's... Happened? Uh, let's just Ooh. turn around and... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Don't look at it. It's all right, but Eli. I thought that was right. Kitty. Oh, my God. Let's put you in the car. Is that, yeah, is that not Kitty? No, sorry. It, it is, it's, it's V. Oh, Jesus. It looked just like... Did she just cheat on you? Yeah, it's V. Sorry. Oh. What? Well, the X is... Um, no, it's still no, a fresh no, wound, just, I believe. Put him down, put him down. She, she, uh, she broke up with me because uh, because I'm broke. Didn't have enough money. Stop being. Let's go there. Whore. What are you doing? Oh Jesus! What are you doing, Jesus. right? Don't go in Plus, there. They're gonna go snoop. 
What's happening what... to Ilailam? Batar? Um, it's, it's just gonna be awkward. How's it going, GT? Quiet, is this your car? Oh my goodness! I come with soup too. You know what, please? Uh, she's trying to hit one of my best friends. So I do feel it's kind of fucked up, you know? Oh my god, I'm gonna have a BF! You know what? I thought Eli was already your fiance. Oh. Some bad attack! Some bad attack. Oh, stop! Stop! Uh, oh. He really needs to get changed. He's been in that for like the last three hours. He does. Oh my goodness. Jesus Christ. V, get her, please, get her. No, man, no. Quick, you gotta oh. fight your own fights, Eli. Quick, you gotta do it. You gotta do it. Does you know want his stuff that you put in the back? What did you know put in the back of my trunk? Sixty-five assorted jewelry. Where'd that cat boy go? He was here just a second ago. I mean, I don't think 65 assorted jewelry really is anything, to be honest. I think there's like basically nothing. Let's see. You know. Nice car. I guess we'll just keep it for now. I mean, we we have like a lot of jewelry in the house anyway. That we could just kind of like move about. We need to just get rid of it though. Like I said, we need to have that whole system that I was talking about. Let's see, you know, you know. I don't know where he went off to. Oh. I didn't see you. Let's go deliver off to the house for now. We'll give it to him later if we want it. I think we've got some storage in the house we can use for that. Yeah, I thought it was about time we gave Tanya a good makeover. Taxi life is very much behind us now, so there's no real need to really keep the yellow look. I mainly kept the yellow look for like the nostalgia part of it, and the fact that people could recognize the car as Max's. I think over time people will start to recognize this look as Max's. And you know, we won't run into issues with the Vargos or anything either, which is an added benefit. Not that I think we would have ran into any issues, it's just, you know. Better to not get mistaken in case they ever do go to gang wars or anything. Alright, so let's get this in the house. Oop. Make sure there's no PD coming. Hey, okay, let's move all that stuff in. Gotta put down the extra parts that we got too. I think the other jewel we got is just over this way. It's locked, you idiot. <laughs> okay. Just put that in the pile. 65. Gotta remember, there's about 65 there. Still busy. I don't want to text him, do you want the jewelry back? Do you think that's a good thing to have in text messages? Let's see, inventories. What do you need for a tire repair kit? What do you need for that? 
for swapping and repairing worn or damaged tires. I didn't even know that this was a thing. I guess it's like, if your tires pop, we can do this. Technically, we could craft this right now if we wanted to. Yeah, fair enough. We got it in case we ever do need it for, any for anything. Yeah, that's Timothy's pile right there. See, this is why I want to start up a system for people to do this stuff. Because I think people just do one part of it, but then just get distracted and don't do the other part of it. So if we could make a whole system for getting, like, from the start to the end, that'd be good. Like, I'll deal with the tedious parts of it. Like, you know, running stuff down to the sewers, cleaning the money. I can deal with that. Tedious work is something that I can deal with. I like it because it gives me, like, something to do. But, you know, sometimes I do struggle finding things to do. Speaking of, we still need to go to the hunting lodge in a minute. But what we need to do is just send some people out to... Like, um, do these runs. I like the idea that we can give jobs to the Gorals to go do. Because I think if we give them the job, they'll do it. But if it's just like a thing that's there that they could do, they might not do it. But if we specifically say like, hey... This is something you can go do right now. Like, go do this jewelry run for us. Get money. Then we handle it from there. When is Casino open? We're still sorting that out at the moment. There's no set date. I think Marty wants to try and move into the, like, storefront location before we actually open up the casino. Which is definitely understandable. Because, like, what we got right now is just way too small. It's, a, it's such a tiny space. Like, doing an actual sort of... You know, opening of any sort, like, any sort of grandeur just isn't going to work in this space. Like, at this house. There's just no room on the outside and barely any room on the inside for a grand opening. But hopefully sometime soon. I think we might do some more investor ones, like investor games soon. Like, you know, whether it be with fake money or real money. Like, just a few test days to make sure everything works all right. It seems like it, once things got going last time, though, it really worked well. The only issue is those initial issues that we got stomped out beforehand. But when the games were being played, there was no issues, which is very good. I guess it's also the issue that I ran into where I accidentally banned all those players. I definitely didn't go one by one, so that was just like a little glitch that happened. Maybe if there's a prompt or something. Yeah, this is Tanya. New makeover. Tanya 2.0. Upgraded for the Gazino lifestyle. I think she looks good. Suits our outfits a lot better than the bright yellow. She's a little shiny though. She definitely wasn't this shiny before. I don't know if that's something that I did or if that's just the effect of it. lazy asshole who instead of doing the work themselves decide to rob everybody else and then make it that the prices have to go up because all the people who were doing the work in the first place no longer want to do the work because they keep getting robbed Oop. hello hello there how can i help you uh, could i get okay. two combos today please They're like, oh, no. two combos what would you like on them they start with that what would you like on your burgers? Uh, just oh, cheese today, please. All right. Further because they don't have the parts to make the repairs for my car anymore because I keep stealing from the people who keep making my repairs. Alrighty, two fries. And a sprung with ice for drink, please. Sure. Selfish. 
All right, two burgers, fries, and uh, two sprung. And there we go. Swipe right there. Swoop. Number 99. 99. Thank you very much. I think everyone's kind of getting sick of getting robbed constantly at the moment. Definitely a bit of a pandemic that's hitting the city is the robberies. I understand why people do it, though, because, you know, other jobs aren't really that fun right now. And it definitely does suck if you put, like, a lot of work into something, and then, like, it just gets robbed. I like going for the classy style. I, I always like keeping Max's style to be classy. Just suits him, you know? Like, his, his old car that he used to drive around, the main car he used to drive, was the Stafford, which is very 1920s. It was that and the Broadway. Those are Max's two main cars. Well, a car that looked like the Broadway, but wasn't Broadway, but looked very similar. It's like a modded car, but it was the Broadway. I like it classy. Sports classics is Max's go-to. You know, I feel like it's a unique style as well that not many people in town go for. Very few people in town wear suits. And they don't and the people that do don't wear them as good as Max does. Max always be styling. He would call it a banger. I know what style suits Max best, and that's classy style. Yeah, I might go hunting after this. I don't know. I I'm worried about going hunting, just the fact that we're probably going to get robbed. I just need that fur. Or I could try and buy some fur from someone, is the alternative. I'll miss the yellow car trademark too, but over time people will recognize this car as Max's. We just have to move past the taxi era, you know? It had its time. New era for Tanya, exactly. I think I'd rather do this than buy a new car right now. There's no need for us to buy a new car at the end of the day. The Glendale is just as good. I'm sorry. God damn it. Nice progression for sure. You guys are my last order. Yeah, like. I could give Aziz the the legal knowledge and everything, but that that's about it. Like I, I see where he is going, but yeah. Did everyone leave the kitchen? I think all the employees left by looks, but goddamn. Let me add him to my phone. Yeah, exactly. More money into the houses, more money into businesses. It just makes more sense. I think I'd rather, like, invest money into business rather than buy a new car. Yeah, Senior Buns is dead, unfortunately. These sort of businesses need someone in charge to run them. They, they need to be owned by someone.
I know Speedy was doing that for a while, but I don't know if he does that anymore. Same with um, Kibo's character, too. There we go. But these places work much better when there's actually people keeping it, you know, it in check and everything. Oh. Yeah, you because know, then, like, say, the employee, like, the CEO could then hire security so people don't get robbed. They can make deals with the people that are robbing. They can stop it so people can't just run in, clock in, grab their own food, and leave. What would be really scummy, which I don't know if people do, but they could theoretically do, is clock in, wait for the order to be done, and just yoink it from the warmer and then leave. Like, you know, steal someone else's order, basically. You know, just paying attention to what she was saying. She started, you know, kicking stuff. And I was like, oh. Don't know if anyone does that, but theoretically someone could do that. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yep. Definitely not the first thing. No, you know, adds like extra fries on, then they pay for it without realizing. They still get their food at the end of the day. Yeah. No, you just, you seem kind of like frozen over there. It's just, you know. I do feel bad for the senior Worried buns employees, you. though. They do get robbed yeah, very frequently. Head, I'm, I'm trying to clear my head. Okay. It's already a very, like, demoralizing job. Getting robbed just adds on to that. Kimo's character just got kicked out, basically, by the other managers. But then those other managers I don't think work anymore anyway. No, I guess my contacts are messing with me and now Kiwi's playing a different character oh, I'm sorry, so babe. i don't think she'll be back it's all good hello thank you uh can i get two meals uh in the burgers can i get cheese pickles and salad uh with fries you know, i'm gonna see something what is this yeah please okay I do hope more places open up though. That'd be a good update. It's like other food places. On the ground over there. <laughs> what about a one life character called Mr. Buns? See more buns. So is there any new legislation? Uh, nope. Kind of been a nope. For me today. It's been just me for like 20 minutes. Yeah, Uwu was really nice. It's a really cool interior too. The thing is, if Uwu was in so in 4.0, it'd probably end up like the library where it's state owned rather than person owned. Oh, by the way, I don't know who they were, but um, I was at the courthouse earlier. I do hope they change that though in the future. Well, Somebody asked yep. me about you. I said you'd be around later, and they, they, this woman chimed in and said that you were probably, uh, you know, home and hungover, and she said, you know, you you couldn't uh, be prepared to try well, yesterday. Oh, uh, that was rude. Let's see. Are we gonna get our order? Or is it expired? Didn't tell anybody, so of course she's telling everybody. <laughs> change. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's whatever. It's about one. I know, but I'm just like, yeah. Uh, no, we'll just get one if we get a thing. Come back to bite you, there's know? no point buying one and just sitting on it. I mean, but that, I mean, it was one day. I mean, if it comes back to bite me, it comes back to bite me. But huh? I only. I, 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 yeah. I, I have 500 bucks on me anyway. <laughs> I wasn't planning on it. Number 99. Yep, 99. Thank you very much. There we go. Yeah, hopefully some changes come in the future for this. I'm still pretty hopeful for business RP, but it definitely is fe feeling bleak right now. There we go. Don't know where I put that, but that's down on the floor. 
I do hope they change their minds about, like, government-owned buildings not being able to be ran by anyone. Like Mosley's, for instance, you know? There's someone running Mosley's, someone running this place. I think the RP would just be better. Like, you actually had to get hired on by someone, rather than just walking in and clocking in. But I could just walk in there right now and just clock in and make food, if I wanted to. No hiring RP or anything. There used to be people that are actively doing the hiring, but I don't know if that is still the case or not. Like, managers and stuff like that. I just don't know how common that is anymore, unfortunately. It is a shame. But in the meantime, we just got to focus on ourselves, focus on our businesses, and hope they go good. I guess in this case, we should be thankful that there is no casino in town right now. Like, government-ran casino. Because that way we can run this however we want to run it. In you know, hire who we want to hire. And then who knows how things may go in the future. I mean, if there ever is a casino open by the state, it will pretty much put us out of business. <laughs> Very good chance at the very least. I definitely do miss a lot of the things from 3.0. Having choices for restaurants and businesses definitely was a big part. Definitely missed that. Well, let's see. I might do a quick drive-by in the Howdy. third place and just see if I can see anyone there. Because if I can purchase the fur, that'd be better. That way I don't have to go do any hunting myself. Just need 30 boxes, I think, to try one box. I just want to see what the box does. So I only need to make one for now just to see what it does and how it works. And if it is something we could utilize. But I generally think that if it works in the way that I think that it works, it might be able to be used to help move things to the sewers. Which would be pretty big. Because I'd say that's the biggest hassle with selling things in the sewers is that it's just like storage. Storage is the biggest pain. Oh, sorry. Let me call Yuno. I forgot, I forgot about Yuno. I forgot that he just dumped some stuff in my trunk. Is this still about? Oh, it might not be about. Oh. What's up, Max? Hey, you know, uh, did you want that jewelry back? Oh, no, I left it in there. Um, why, you don't want it? Uh, no, no, I, I mean, I'll keep it for now. I just didn't know. If you... It's it's not that much. That's only like a couple hundred bucks or something. Okay. A few hundred bucks. All right, just uh, wanted to double check. Yeah, yeah, give it to uh, Timothy next time you see him or something, I guess. I mean. Yeah, we've got a bit of a pile in the house right now. I think it was like 1,500 jewelry. Oh, perfect. Jewelry Add it to the dragon's treasure, I suppose. Yep, that hopefully will get sorted soon. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. All right, he just. Uh, I'm going to try and recover my car, but yeah, I'll see you soon, Max. Catch Thanks. you in a bit. Let's see, anyone processing? Doesn't look like it, no. All right, let's go do some hunting ourselves. Let's go get it done ourselves. If I've got the space, what I might do is, actually, no. I might as well keep it in the bison. I was going to say, I could, like, move the stuff to my car. And that way, I don't have to drive all the way back up north. But if I get meat, I'm going to have to do that anyway. Let's make our way up that way. So, if my theory is correct, and we need 30 boxes. And if I remember correctly, one fur gets you two boxed fur. We only need 15 fur pelts, and I'm pretty sure you get three per deer. So we need to kill five deer. 
We shouldn't be too bad, to be honest. Should be pretty easy. Ow. We just got to keep an eye out for mountain lions. I can't tell. We just got to just swerve around the carnage of the ambulance too. Yeah, today is very much a sciencing day. Once we get a better idea of how we could streamline this, the better. Hopefully we can get some information from Eli too, about how the jewelry run goes. And like how much money you get per jewelry. But I could make a really efficient spreadsheet once I get all this data. We need like one of every part too. Like we need one HVAC unit, one air conditioner, one car door, one car wheel, one car whatever. One cash pallet. We need all the data we can get. Oh, so the car looks really good at nighttime too. I think we made the right choice with the color palette. We'll get changed before we go hunting too, because I want to make sure of my hunting outfit. Very few times I get to use it. I, oh. How slow is this? Am I good to just go around? Okay, I'm, I'm just going to go around. And let's just hope that we don't get robbed. I think there's probably a very good chance we could get robbed. Maybe we could make some sort of deal with the robbers where they just take the meat and leave us the fur. I think the fur is the most valuable is the thing. The meat itself isn't too valuable. I guess it kind of depends who robs us. But I don't think we're that in good with CG where they wouldn't rob us. Uh, just because we have connections to April and Ray doesn't mean that they're not going to rob us, you know? And Max isn't the type of person to name drop people. You're not going to say like, oh god. I'm not going to say like, oh you shouldn't rob me, I'm friends with Ray and April. Because that sort of thing makes it seem like you're only friends with someone for that reason. Uh. Huh. You guys all good? Yeah, we're just chilling. We're all trapped. right. Come on. Let's ride. Okay, I'm, I'm just heading to the hunting lodge. Okay. Perfect. You guys need cool dropping car, off somewhere? Sir. Oh, thank you, thank you. You hunting like birds or chickens or something? No, just deer. Doing some testing. Bye. Uh, you guys need a ride? Y yes, actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure. Uh, so, so I might need a trunk it. I will gladly get in the trunk. Oh, oh my. Um, uh, and uh, uh, is there like a car yeah, rental spot up here you guys could use? Uh, nope. If you take me to the okay. sawmill, uh, the lumberyard, I have a truck there. Okay. Ah, oh, thank you guys. Uh, no worries. I'm assuming that uh, explosion stuff back there was from you guys. Don't, that was uh, that was not oh, my fault. No. Um, <laughs> no, no, that was us. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was Adam. Yeah. Actually, it was Adam's fault, yeah. Okay. 
Well, how is it my fault? You tried to to oh oh wait you're here with us. Well, whoops. I... Whoops. That's true. The taxi never stops. Whoop. Definitely not doing a heist at all. Yeah. Definitely not. That would be that crazy. Was... No. I would never. Oh, okay. 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 I just to the sawmill, you said. Yep, yep. You didn't have an EMS coming up this way, did you? I, I passed some coming up. Uh, I think they came and left. Oh, okay. For injuries that were not related to us potentially not doing a heist that caused a bunch of cars to explode. Got yeah. you, okay. Right, well, here we go. Sawmill. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yep. Thank Ta you so much. I know what he's. Be safe. Hey, you we too, will take be. Care. Thanks. No worries. It's been a while since the last gave someone a taxi ride up to the sawmill. Technically, in the olden days, they would have owed me a hundred dollars. Actually, no, we didn't come from the city, but still. I don't even know if we're not a taxi. I still like giving people rides if they need it. I think it's fun just picking up random people off the side of the road, see what they're up to. I will say, I definitely do miss that about taxi work. It's just learning what people are doing in town. The people we get to meet with it. I do miss that. I don't know if casino work's going to give us the same sort of thing, you know? I feel like that sort of thing you only get from customer service work. But if we open up the pawn shop, then, you know... More that's kind of more like it potentially. <laughs> but that's also what I used to love about doing the bartender work too. Talk to people, get to know what they're doing. It's fun. Right, let's head on over to the hunting lodge. Yeah, it was good RP. I mean, a lot of the people that I've met in 4.0 came from that. Including April and crew. It's interesting that where Max would be right now if it wasn't for April and crew. Like, you know, that phone call April made. I think there's probably a good chance that I still would have been the CEO of the casino. Because that wasn't connected to April and crew at all. That is more so from Max's previous work and people vouching for him. God, I, I guess in that case, there's a very good chance we could have been a target of April's. She probably would have tried to get money from us, most likely. In another timeline. Ooh, I want to work. Sign in. Bison's over there. Okay. Uh... Required. Uh, wait, is it required two people? Or can you just do it with one person? Let's try. You're not in a group. Only one person doing this. Maybe it's a job that you can't do with just on your own. Oh, you need two people. Damn it. Okay. What's what blueprint is this? Tire repair kit. Already got that one. Damn it, okay. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we'll do this another time. Maybe tomorrow morning I'll see if Eli wants to go on a hunting run. Just to help me out. Just a quick one, you know? I think between, if it's with one other person, I think it'd be pretty easy to do. 
pretty quick to do too. I don't know if there's any other way you can get far. I think it is only through this. I've also been told that apparently hunting doesn't pay as much anymore. I'm kind of surprised there's only two people doing it right now. At a time, there used to be like multiple groups at a time. I've still personally got hope that there's going to be a nightlife starting in the city at some point. I really hope the RP goes that way, rather than just, you know, people finding a different job to grind at night. I've still got hope for that. I'm just not sure if I want Max to be the one to try and do it this time around, because that's what I try to do in 3.0. And, you know, no reruns, as they say. Definitely wouldn't be opposed to helping out with bartender work, though. Do love me some bartending. Mainly because I get to use sound effects. And farm plus ones. Let's just refuel while we're up here. God, that does look good in this lighting. Very nice. Shame we couldn't get the white wool wheels, but I think these wheels work too. Refuel. Boom. Boom. This will probably be the Tanya that we drive around for a good while now. I think she looks classy. There we go. Make way back down to the city for now. I said, I'll probably just try and get some hunting done tomorrow, most likely. I know towing is still pretty popular. I have a feeling a lot of people that did hunting may have moved to towing instead. Actually, no, no, no. Towing isn't as good anymore, now I think about it. Because it used to be, for a while, you could do towing and it wouldn't affect the rep of your other jobs. They've reverted that change, from my understanding. But you can still do it at night time. I think, honestly, one of the only jobs you can't really do at night time now is grime. Actually, I think it's the only job you can't do at night time is grime. And maybe sanitation. Since, you know, G6 workers can technically still work in the nighttime if they don't clock out or anything. Honestly, fair. Grime is better money anyway, so no regrets on that part. I like it because I don't do grime runs that often. I usually restrict just to one or two grime runs a day. So it being buffed in payout just works better for me. Let me overtake this guy. Honestly, the Glendale is relatively speedy, all things considered. I'm pretty sure we're getting close to the speed that you know's car goes at the moment. For almost like a hundred times less the price. I still think we got this car. The best investment we've made is with this car. 100%. But yeah, I think my goal for this week in general is to see if I can get that pipeline going. For that though, I need to start getting in the sewers, have the girls start collecting things for me to sell. 
and then we can just kind of work on it from there. Like this week is very much going to be a data collection week, I think. Like the more data I can work with, the better. Then I can make a really sick spreadsheet. And with the spreadsheet, we can then actually start like determining how much everyone's going to get paid as well, which is a big part of it. Because obviously, they're going to want to know how much they're going to get paid if they do these jobs. And I want to make sure I can give them a pretty solid answer. Like everyone in each step of the job will be getting paid. I'll even reserve some money for myself too. Like a very small percentage. But a percentage nonetheless. Also, I'm fairly certain when it comes to the washing machines... If I remember the data correctly, it takes roughly like an hour to clean, to like go through one full cycle of a washing machine, right? Like, you know, the $250 getting clean takes roughly about one hour. Then you're going to change out the rolls. That isn't too bad. Now, if we get four washing machines, that's a thousand dollars an hour. And I can I'm definitely around frequently enough to like swap out the rolls. That'll pull a Uno and even get a timer for it. Two thousand dollars an hour would be even better though. If we get what would that be? That'd be eight total? That wouldn't be too shabby. If it's too slow, we could also do it like half we give to the VU, half we wash ourselves. If it's too, too slow. But I mean, we're never like in too much of a rush for the most part. You alright? Yeah, I'm good. Alright. Oh, just a bit of a head pop? Yeah, with enough washing machines, we shouldn't need to worry about the VU. And we can definitely afford a decent amount of washing machines if we wanted to get into that. That probably would be a pretty good investment, to be honest. That's about, what, $3,000 per washing machine? Spend $6,000 more to get it so we get $1,000 an hour. Then we'd have to spend an extra twelve dollars if we want to upgrade to $2,000 an hour. Which, again, would be a worthwhile investment. 18k basically to get up to where we want to be not shabby at all i think kitty's got some money she's trying to clean so I might quickly pop those in the washing machine add them to the pile she's making then i can properly test that <laughs> boom I'm more than willing to start investing my money more into these sort of operations. In my opinion, that's just better in general. Better investment and, you know, a car we don't really need. Let's see. So, should already have... Okay, there's nothing in here right now. So, let me load some cash into here. Inventory. Uh, where is it? Oh. It's gone. Okay, so I guess Kitty's using it for something. Let me move the gun back in here too. Damn it, I was going to try and test that. Oh well. I guess if we wanted to, we could send some people out on jobs tonight. Maybe get some jewelry runs done. The thing is, I don't know how these runs work. I'm not sure if the girls know either. Like, we've got a lot of jewelry here that needs to be ran. I don't know how much money that is, but I think that's a decent amount of money right there. Someone's chat said that was like 10k worth of money. 
Well, should be some pretty good money for the house. I'm just saying. Now, I'm pretty sure the majority of that pile is Timothy's. And I don't want to touch if it's Timothy's. Without his permission, of course. Boom. Empty that. 32 buck coin. Very nice. Boom. Empty this. Very nice. Did Kitty end up moving the GPU? That's still in there. Yeah, I see no point in moving it personally. I don't think we have to worry too much about our house getting robbed right now. A lot of factors working in our favor. So we do need to get someone down here to clean out the rubbish. I think Kitty's got someone for that she can trust. Since it's all in the secret room, so we need someone that we can trust. Alright. I think I might call it there for tonight. Didn't get everything done that I wanted to get done today. But we've started to make some progress, which is good. Started to run the idea by some people too. But I want this week to primarily be dedicated to sciencing. Trying to figure this all out. Which I think we'd be able to do. Just gotta like, dedicate some set time to it. Like, you know, go do a hunting run with, like, Eli in the morning, maybe, if he's available. And just kind of generally go from there. But in the meantime, let's have a look-see. I'm going to send you guys over to... Uh, let's see, let's see. Who's around? I'm going to send you guys over to Angel. Go say hello to the lovely Angel Knives from me. Who plays uh, Gigi, for those who don't know. Go say hello from... Oh, God damn it! hold on. Typing it in, Ron. There we go. Go say hello from me, and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Okay, I typed the name wrong. How did I misspell it? Angel Knives. Oh, I, I, okay, hold on. There we go. That work? Okay, that worked that time. All right. But yeah, I hope y'all have a lovely rest of your night, and I'll be back tomorrow for some more good old Max, as always. Till then, I hope y'all have a lovely rest of your night. And remember, smink.